Hello and welcome everyone to Cybercast episode 222, the Transformer Action Figure Podcast Show. Uh, today we're taking a look at um, everything for the past two weeks as far as Transformers third party and uh, some some action figures as far as DC. Uh, gonna mute that. Uh, DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Hot Toys. Uh, we have some SH Figure Arts stuff in there. So we're also going to be covering some of the stuff from the New York Comic Con uh, as well. And uh, if you missed the last episode, I wasn't able to have it here on my channel. That's actually on Mike's channel. So he did 221, and they also did a Galactic Gumbo, which is at just another G.I. Joe show. So you can find him on YouTube. Uh, it's also the links in the description. Uh, the other thing i guess let's just intro man dalton uh where can people find you nice to see your face man yeah <laughs> you can find me everywhere at daltonians tfs all right uh sport you can find me here on youtube as sportimus and on twitter as sportimus pride and uh last lastly you can find me on instagram you can find me on twitter shattered glass jazz and you can find me, G1Xtron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook pages, the G1Xtron. Uh, also, a little thing, uh, if you guys are looking for any of the toys and you like to buy things online, uh, if you go to B BBTS or Big Bad Toy Store, you can use my link in the description. It just helps me out a little bit. Um, so it's totally up to you guys. All right, let's get some screen sharing going on. I, you know what? I really wanted to uh, talk about this Toys R Us coming back and what they really needed to fix, but... I don't know. We, we can just talk about it on another Galactic Gumbo show, but we can talk about it after the show. All right. So, uh, not really a toy here. I just I thought Dakota might be on, and I just wanted to be like, look at this little outfit. Uh, I'm going to get this for Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Have him stunting in this. Would, would, would you get uh, your kid that, Rick? Yeah, I haven't seen it. Like, he already picked. We looked like uh, last week and picked one. But I didn't see this one. This one looks awesome. Yeah. The 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 little three month nephew, he's got a Spider Man onesie. So yeah. it's nice uh, to see it has a shape instead of just being a bodysuit. Yeah, I, I like yeah. the little, little square things here. It's nice. I mean yeah. So uh also, how, how much is this thing? Oh hello, what's it what's this? I like that. Mm, I like that more. I you like say how, how much is that one or the other one? Okay. Let's, see, let's gotcha. see how much this bad boy is. Uh, 25 bucks at Walmart. Uh, you can get it at walmart.com. So. Wow. Man, I might have to is show that them that. Is that expensive? I have no idea because I haven't bought a costume. No, it's it's fine. Yeah. Well, I've, got, I've got my cosplay costume, which mm -hmm. is hell of expensive, but oh, like yeah. for, for kids' costume, I have no idea what's expensive or not. That, that's actually a pretty good price. It is okay. Yeah, my mom used to make us costumes, and they were awesome. Mine did, mine did too, mostly. <laughs> Ninja <laughs> Turtles. We win all types of contests. All right. Anyways, uh, getting into uh, what is this? The Bumblebee movie, Air John Igniters. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't, tell us about this uh, line you collect here. <laughs> I don't, for one. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. that that Blitzwing is really looking like Megatron. And Guzzle at the same time. Isn't that a slightly retooled Megatron mold? I, I think so. Or either that or it's going yeah. to end up being at some point. Oh, and it looks like he's... Oh, my God. So this You can is see his face, back, too. Like... But it looks more like Guzzle with the green and the yellow. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I believe... Uh, I agree with uh, Kyan Koopa. He says that's Blitzwing. They're all Blitzwings. Everything's Blitzwing. That one, too. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's but <laughs> is that that is oh seriously is that supposed to be cliff jumper or something? Or what no, that's a shatter shatter bolt. Yeah. I've actually I've actually played with these because I I got Xander uh, drop oh, kick God, right. in and Megatron. Hey man, he's he's you know five. So the first, the Megatron was like a four or five <laughs> step uh, guy, and the um, this one and drop kick. They're I want to say they're just a few steps too, like four or five steps. The car mode's not bad. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that Plymouth. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I bought that. the the, the <laughs> three month old uh, nephew. I bought him a bunch of like little the Imaginex figures and like base and stuff. They're like it says three to five, and yeah. I bought the three year old nephew some six inch Black Series figures. 
I asked his mom, I was like, could he play with these? Like, he's not going to eat the weapons or anything, right? She was like, no, he's pretty advanced for his age. I was like, so six inch, like the stuff I collect. He was like, oh, yeah, he'll love that. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll get him like a Kylo Ren and a Ray with some other stuff. So, so uh, I, I'm not really understanding this with the jet engines in the front right there. but I guess maybe it's like mid transformation since she's a. It's just a, it's just a gimmick for kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all it is, got, and, it, it, and it works. Oh my god! Oh, the best prime ever. Look at that. Better wash your <laughs> eyes out, dude. <laughs> yeah, I remember the these, truck mode looks okay. These are for the kitties. Just you gotta like duck your head down to see out of those those windshields because <laughs> you're like looking right through the wipers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah camera, the spokes on the steering wheel. <laughs> I guess, I guess, real quick. Uh, I did all my lab stuff. I went on the medicine and diet and all these steroids because uh, they were worried uh, that I had Crohn's disease. And Tuesday, they found, you know, told me that I didn't. I uh, still have something going on with like my nervous system or something, uh, as far as like itching and like some weird other stuff going on. But uh, I'm taking medicine for that. But the main thing, yeah, I don't have Crohn's disease, so that's it. That's a huge plus. Well, I was, I was going to say that, that that one's probably the coolest one. It, I'm not, not that I would buy any of them for myself, but... You know, <laughs> I know we haven't gotten the third-party stuff yet, but I wonder if someone's going to end up doing an actual triple-changing shatter and dropkick. Oh like, god, you you're, know, you're so or... far ahead, Dalton. You're talking about third party. That's like over here, dude. like what we had, like, what we had with <laughs> lockdown and how bad that toy looked. All right, we're just gonna check on something real quick. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what about this one? Oh Jesus, <laughs> I'm winning both of them right now. <laughs> Dalton jumping the gun. The James gun. What? What are the rules of the chat? Uh, don't be no abusive swearing. to other people, I guess. No spamming. That's that's pretty much it. So, all right. So, uh, Cyberverse official images from New York Comic Con. Blah. There. Look, the... don't 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 act like you don't like these. I don't. <laughs> He's got them pre-ordered. No. <laughs> don't don't make the chat turn on you. <laughs> I I'm thought you get rid of crap, not get more. Not a I bad little these... ratchet. For Do you guys, younger... where you guys live, are you guys seeing these like just warm the pegs? Like they're. I've seen, I, I've seen some of the here. igniters. Like I went in Walmart the other day, seen some of the reissues, and, <clears throat> but I haven't seen any really of the Cyberverse stuff. Yes, yeah, the Cyberverse stuff's like everywhere. Like the Primes, the Megatrons, like the big ones too. Yeah, there's ten of them per store. Wow, and we got those. What the hell is this? Bathtub Pitch toys. That is Prowl. that. Uh, What's these were, I, you know what? I'd buy these for like my nephew. These ones don't look too bad. I don't know about these barricade missions things. No, that's prowl. Prowl, really? Both of them are. Yeah, it's just, yeah, prowl. Yeah, the, the head is prowl. The, the rest okay. is, you know, a stretch. <laughs> Cyberverse is nowhere in the UK. Wow, they're lucky. So, yeah. Again, that's not a bad sound wave. Like I would much rather buy these, uh, you know, for the younger kids. Yeah, my kid saw the sound wave. He did ask me for it, and I said no. I'm trying not to yeah, touch it, the line at all because I, I don't, you know. Uh, I think if they had the engineering of like the chug stuff, these would look really good. I I can see it like Rick not buying these for his kid because he doesn't want to sit there in like the living room having an argument with his five year old like no Soundwave is a cassette player he's a yeah. Walkman no he's a truck <laughs> that that oh, conversation I mean, that he, conversation took place in Target in the aisle <laughs> it could work as like a communications truck yeah a little 
Oh, did y'all see it? that the uh, the cheap one hot rod? Someone said showed that like they were on sale at Walmart for fifteen dollars. Oh, really? Wow. I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run in there tomorrow and just see like if they're still that price. And if so, then I'll probably just throw a bunch of them on layaway. I need to look. I saw it yesterday. I need to look at the price again. Yeah. yeah. It's thirty good bucks at mine. Speaking of hot road, yeah, yeah that's rock. a that's a Christmas gift for sure. For, oh yeah. yeah. What the hell? I'm glad they, that they have so much paint apps on the car mode. Yeah. I mean, it looks like they tried combining both vehicles and then say, "Let's turn this into a weird Hot Wheels car." It hurts to look at that. Yeah. I don't know well, why you're hating Dalton. I like to. I, like I to see am hating Dalton. because it's crap. The silver lining is you don't have to buy it though, and that's like I love that. Like every time I see something that yeah, I don't want, nice. it is a mini exactly. celebration. It's like a little mini celebration. Yeah, it's like every time I go into the store and I see that they've restocked the Studio Series stuff, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually buy those, except for Brawl. Just in case you didn't know, he's an Autobot. Yeah. Yeah. Right, before he, right before he <laughs> plows you over. Guy. Like a being hit by a big Autobot symbol. <laughs> That's not a, not a bad looking gem. No, the, the gem yeah, that, one's, good. that one's not quite as bad as some of the others. Yeah, this this little gimmick right here reminds me of some of the old Ninja Turtles uh like little vehicles, like the small, like where they would have, you know, stuff that would like hit the the other enemy figures. Clan. I don't know why a jet would need a propeller on the back, but oh yeah, makes it go faster. <laughs> <laughs> what we're getting a bumblebee too? Oh my God, shocker. That's not bad. They painted Rick. They painted the rims and yeah, the headlights. What's, what's going on? <coughs> well, it slipped through the system. <laughs> yeah, it's an, it's an accident. These are getting painted rims. That our generation <laughs> figures aren't. I don't. I don't get that. Unless that's one of those big ones, like the thirty, forty dollar ones. Ooh. Happy meal toy. Yeah. Happy Meal toys aren't bad. Actually, <laughs> are they okay? This one must have been the the one step ones. A better Acid Storm and Sunstorm. Or oh, are, are you talking about uh for Masterpiece? Oh yeah, these these are the uh, one steps. That's that's why they've uh, stepped down quite a bit. <laughs> He's overcompensating. They they shouldn't even show these little in between modes. Wow. <laughs> we thought the other one was bad, and then we get to this one, and we're like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> his his one step is just like moving, <laughs> moving the bottom two <laughs> <more> backwards. <laughs> They're, I mean, they're definitely trying to get the little kids in on this early and getting them addicted. So are they just do, doing away completely with rescue bots? Is this supposed to replace those or something? Because I, I already told my brother, I was like, look, man, as soon as he turns like two or three, I'm just buying them like generations type, you know, transformers. I'm going to show them how to transform it a couple times. And then after that, it's like, figure it out, dude. I mean, that's basically what I had to do, you know, with the G1s. Hey, Wheeljack. We're, we're sitting there eating lead and sucking on diecast. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know any better. <clears throat> Rescue Bots Academy. Hmm. Yeah, like Cameron said, I had G1 Optimus and Trollbreaker when I was two. Yeah, like... Because it all came out in 84, 82, you know, so I was two. 
Now I broke a bunch of them, but. I didn't realize there were so many of these things here. Okay, that's it. All right, so I'm, uh, Siege. Megatron's looking all right. Yeah. Yep. I still don't, I'm still not a big fan of uh, the kind of the crappy paint paint on them to make them look battle damaged. I mean, at that point, you can just take some rubbing alcohol. Mm -hmm. and... yeah. I don't want to have to do stuff. Ex exactly. Figures. Yeah, you don't want to have to do it. They're, they're $15, $25 figures. I don't want to have to like get out there you know, and start they're, customizing them. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. I'm glad he's got uh, ports on his forearm so you don't have to have the fusion cannon up on his shoulder. Goodness sake, Megatron, take a shower. Yeah, like Cameron says, the price, <laughs> the price is going up too for the line. I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he said, yeah plus you risk uh, taking off the, the good paint, paint apps, you know? Yeah. What little bit there are. Doesn't bother me as much, but I can see why people would be upset about it. Yeah, I'm the same. I just way. hope you can take the me. parts of the sword off that rifle. It's just a. This is just a very specific line, and it's you know it's still G1, but it's very specific with the the tone and mm -hmm. the war torn paint jobs. I get I get now, why people I, are I, I think what they've. I think this kind of style to the uh, painting would have worked on the you know the video game figures because they were like that in the game. Yeah, All scratched and dinged up. Yeah. I think they I think they know that too. I think they know that people love the video game those two games. No, that shockwave looks great. I I've, I've seen so many of the General Grievous memes about him. And this is finally a what a Voyager? Yeah, a Voyager with the uh armor this... to make him a leader class. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought he was leader. I'm not gonna have that extra stuff on him. I just want him to look yeah, normal. Me too. Yeah, and he can, that's the good thing is that he can look pretty normal, which is awesome. Well, I'm sure you've got what else he can do, and later on, yeah, in the official images. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he's got the light piping. <coughs> he's pretty cool. I, I can't <laughs> wait to get the reflector. <laughs> Cameron's so passive aggressive. I tried asking on the Transformers official Facebook page if there's an easy way to remove the damage, not for an actual answer, just a nicer way to complain about them. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nasty, foily, already peeling stickers. I, I know we haven't got to it yet, but I, yeah, I love the flywheels. Yeah. And so you're gonna have gonna to, you, yeah, you're gonna have to buy three of them if you want to go camera mode, which I don't have a problem with. Well, and I like that you can uh, remove that little aperture piece too from the stomach. I just, I still think they, I th think they should be shipping cases of six of these. No. Well, I they're guess, not. Are they? Well, it just depends on how they do the assortment too. Like, are they going to be like three per case, or? Well, th these these guys. Yeah, I, th I think it's three. No, I think it's four. I think I heard four. They need to four come in case. a couple ways, actually. Yeah. yeah, they'll probably do a repack later on near the end of the line, like they did with uh, Jazz. But I, I would love to see a three pack of these in the toy colors, maybe a store exclusive somewhere. And well, though, well, there's going to be probably like a San Diego Comic Con exclusive to where they're red, blue, and uh, green. Is that it? Was green? Okay. Green or gray, something like that. Yeah, the toy, the toy colors. Mm -hmm. And then maybe give them like a new accessory for the Flash. See, I think um, 
What's, what, where did it go? Uh, Caden said he, he wished they made the flywheels like they made the battle trap. I actually wish they made the battle trap like they made the flywheels. It's a little bit more G one, mm -hmm. but I, I agree. I can get I can get why you know you'd like the other one because you get the two transformations and then the combined mode. Yeah. So I, I could I could see that too, but uh, I like the way they did flywheels in which they did them both like that. Yeah, I'm really excited for Brunt. Yeah, he can go with the Trypticon that I've never opened. I hope all the people <laughs> are in there. <laughs> well, then, yeah, with a bunch the of risk, risky. It's I haven't opened mine either. The, the Batwing that I've never opened that's been here for like oh, two you, years. You can send that to me anytime. Don't worry. <laughs> I have a home for that. He's a battle master too, like a cog. So the way that it looks like the where they're going, and they're going to end up doing six, uh, six gun, and hopefully uh, fast track. Uh, what do you think about these these tetra jets? I, I, at yeah, first, when I saw Viper that... from Battlestar. Uh, yeah, yeah awesome. I was gonna say I love me some Battlestar Galactica. So it's, me too, when I yeah. started seeing this at the bottom, it's like, man, there's a bunch of crap here on the bottom there. Yeah, th this is where I'm gonna have to say that Impossible Toys did the alt mode on those better. Don't ever say anything good about Impossible Toys. <laughs> hey, it, yeah, it's that's true. true. That they might look... be the the one good thing anyone's ever said about Impossible. Toys. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only <laughs> yeah, the, that's everything the only else merit that they had. Yeah. Somewhere the CEO of Impossible Toys is like, yes, we're back, baby. Dude, I... The no, they're not back. The they first never thing I, yeah. I bought from Impossible Toys was the 2010 TFCon exclusive Nightbird. And I, I, I like, I was, like, finally a Nightbird to Transformer. And then yeah. I think that, like, while I was doing it, I was like, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I, I'm trying to sell this. But if you're smart, don't buy this from me. It's complete crap. <laughs> I was like, but I really need to sell it though. <laughs> but it also really reminds me of uh, something from Star Wars too. I just this see that star. I want a little Starbuck, like a little mini con or something that goes inside <laughs> of it with a cigar. I mean, yeah, yeah, the legs dangling down sucks, but still not bad. I Looks don't like know. he's carrying. Uh, he's either I mean, Silverbolt not, or Skyline. Everyone's Link, gonna but... have them in robot mode, anyways. So. <laughs> See, that's that's too much crap on the bottom right there. This sucker almost looks like he's a Skylink. Like they supposed exactly. to separate and exactly. links at the bottom. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna pass on that. It's a little too strange looking. Laser beaks looking good. I like the little episode one look that they gave him. Hey, he's not bad. And you already know that with the Starscream, that if you're going to be paying, what is it, $25, $30 for a Voyager, and you're one, like, you already know they're going to come out with Thundercracker and they're going to come out with Skywarp you know, and Skywarp, yeah. Maybe Acid Storm. It's on You think the Rainmakers, too? Could be. Maybe like Amazon or. Depends on how well that mold sells. It's it's Starscream. It's gonna sell. That last Starscream did it sell? The I still see guys? a bunch of them. It was it was a combiner torso, so I don't think that one was gonna do good at all. Plus, it was a pre tool for Elite One. That thing looked terrible. Popeye arms, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least with this one, they're trying to make it look somewhat like G1 Starscream. Oh, somewhat. I mean, like, when you blurred the photo just then, I mean, the silhouette's perfect. Yeah. Well, I mean, in robot wings... mode, it looks far better than oh, yeah. the vehicle mode. But yeah. even, 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 the, more even the, so the colors, than... man, the colors are straight up cartoon colors. So, yeah, they're definitely trying. There's the fly. Yeah, man, I love the way that looks. Uh, I know we only see a little bit. Of, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell uh, Soundwave's supposed to be. 
It's <laughs> supposed to be like a recon ship. Like a drop yeah. ship. I think he's supposed to be. You know the drop ships like, like Kylo, Kylo ship, Ren's like drop that. ship? He's a Remember Kylo guy. Ren's drop ship in Force Awakens? Yeah. The stormtroopers on the inside. I think let's it a, looks like uh, that. Let's get a better look at this thing. Because th that is a sad excuse. That is just like making them a box and just being like, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it's, it's Han Solo's speeder. <laughs> <laughs> now, this looks really cool. I really do like to look at this as a spaceship, but we all know it's just the gun upside down. It's a submarine. Yeah, I mean, I like my submersibles, so that's what it is. Yeah. Well, and apparently the, the bridge has a light piping gimmick, too, so. It's submarine mode. That's all that stuff is. Looks like a spaceship. You have all your. That's the uh, Galactica, and then you can have all of the uh, the Vipers <laughs> flying around. Yeah, it's gonna go. be awesome. I'll get you, Cylons. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that Prime's starting to grow on me a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm not gonna get the Prime or Megatron. I bought the last two years of Primes. I thought both of them were good. Megatron's been working out. <laughs> his, his a little small there, huh? His head, his, down in there. his head is sunk down in like Brock Lesnar. He's got all, all traps, no neck. <laughs> <laughs> He's on that uh that Ben Swallow diet. <laughs> there we go. See there, the paint doesn't look as bad as the one up on the display. Yeah, I think it does. I don't like any of it. <laughs> it looks like it looks like the kid next door that had Oreo like or ice cream sandwiches had his little hands all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Those little guys, that's what I'm excited for too. The oh the target masters and the micro masters. Yeah, the little micro masters. Yeah, it looks like those wings on the bridge are on hinges, so you can just fold those down and turn them upside uh, down. I don't think a six gun's been announced yet, but I. But he has been in the Amazon listings, so, and oh, really? all those have pretty much been confirmed. As he, yeah. So you're, I, I mean, I would assume you would get them anyway, especially since they're doing all this like break the dudes apart. And so, does anybody know if anybody that was in the room, all these important YouTubers, did anyone ask about flight stands? Since yeah, the of entire, not. I don't think anyone did. The entire diorama hinges on flight stands yeah. everywhere. No, I don't understand not. why people don't ask the important questions. It's because it's the same people. They're, they're just it's people that are just happy to be able to be there to take pictures. Right. Mm -hmm. They're so busy hitting record that you know. No questions being. Asked. I remember like whenever we sit sit there with Mark Weber, man, we sit there and talk to him for hours just asking them all types of questions oh yeah where eventually it was like look man i can't tell you anything <laughs> did those flight stands transform so the sound wave i think looks you know pretty good you know i i like this yeah, it looks then... better than the he does look good or the titan's return yeah really you like that better than titans okay well because the titan's return one was just blaster Doing a sound wave cosplay. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. I mean, this one was designed to be yeah. sound wave. Uh, Shockwave's light pole can actually be a move because it's in the display. Is it yeah, display? someone's got yeah. one painted up all black as a lamp post for sound wave. Oh, nice. Yeah, I I I dig this look. And I'm sure there's a way you can fan mode it into a boom box. They should have fan moded it. Look at that kitty little, cat. Little little ravage. Looks more like a pit bull than anything. <laughs> He's a little pit bull Doberman mix. <laughs> that tank looks good though. I don't know. I've always kind of liked H tanks. Except for the it, back, the back it, end from the overhead view, it just looks like legs that are bent in halfway and then folded back. They've done that. They've done that before. Say so if you're looking uh, from overhead, which there are some photos from overhead, 
It I, I'm hoping the feet can point down a little bit more. Yeah. But it really reminds me of a scorpion from Halo 5. Oh, it does look like that, yeah. Yeah, this is interesting to have this guy in a robot mode. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they're they basing him off the uh, Centurion droids from Stormbringer in IDW. I, I was telling Dakota he'd make a great uh, tank or, but he, we decided to disagree, agree to disagree. Well, it's Dakota. He's going to disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people are wanting Impactor just to be a repaint of Brunt, but that that's just too lazy for Hasbro, even for Hasbro. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't put it past them. What's the price point for Shockwave? Did they say is he like fifty or is he more? Yeah, it's if he's leader, he's going to be. What, that, if they're going up five dollars on everything, so that would make yeah. him right. Clo- well, they've, they've been to 60. sixty with Power of the Primes. Yeah, they'll be closer to sixty now, I guess. Prices are just killer. Remember when they were forty bucks? Mm-hmm. Those were the days. actually. I remember when they were thirty-five. Yeah. Well, third party man. They know that we're willing. Some of us are willing to pay. Oh, there, dude! That fly that wheels. first wave. The first wave looks so good. That is a pretty good assortment. Yeah, and we we should be seeing them here. I think maybe next month. That hound is looking better and better. Uh, let's see. The Frenzy Rumble mold is the only 84 Decepticon with uh, no mold and siege so far. Hmm. No one can construct a con. It's the only one well, from season one. We'll probably oh. see them at uh, New York Toy Fair. And DVZXA and Kaden, they all said uh, Rumble is blue, Frenzy is red, which I totally agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are facts. Yep. I'm sure they had this conversation before they did them, but the idea, some people will like it, some people wouldn't. If they're going to be war-torn, like I'm looking at Sideswipe next to like Flywheels and, and Hound, I wish that like part of his car mode was like messed up, like a chunk from the hood was missing and like gears were Yeah, exposed. go all out if you're going to go war <laughs> Yeah, that that makes more sense to me than the drop the drop us. Any, anything to make it look just... Actually, war torn. I think the drop, the drop rush. I, I, I just, I'm, I don't like it, but it's there. So, but I, I would, I wouldn't mind it if they drop rushed over top of stuff that's kind of missing and airbrushed. Dude, detail. just, just send all your figures over to, to Chris, man. He'll, he'll test drop all of them. He'll send them back <laughs> back the arms legs. <laughs> Taking a picture of that dude's watch. What's going on? Yeah. Well, camera. Okay, I, I agree with that. I always thought Rumble is purple, but people have told me like, "Oh, you're just colorblind. He's blue." I'm like, "Wow, he looks purple." He, he's got some like purple in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're they're two shaded: blue and purple, and red and black. Cog looks good. Yeah, yeah, like he's one of the yeah flywheels, cog, the reflector. You know, those are the ones I'm picking up. And uh, with Hound, uh, you can do the whole thing with the 08 <coughs> version or 09 version, where you can have the Ravage on Ravage. the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I'll be more excited about these once I have them in hand. I like a lot of the villains, though. I like Shockwave a lot, and I like Flywheels. Those are probably my two favorite. Well, no, apparently they're going to be compatible with each other, the flywheels and battle traps, so you can switch them back and forth between them. I, that's just terrible. I don't like that at all. You know what? I bet they make some type of exclusives where they don't have battle damage on them. 
there there's your like San Diego Comic Con box set. If not, then we'll just see how it goes with this line and if they decide not to do it. They never know. This is a ton of pictures. I think Flywheels is the only one who doesn't have the battle damage done. I'm good. <laughs> Laser big, right? He's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty clean. Yeah, I think all the smaller ones don't have... Anything. Because the whole thing is I'm going to put these guys on this <clears throat> shelf with all the rest of the Generations figures, and it's just going to make me look like I'm lazy. Like, God, man, you dusted all these figures, but like you don't... <laughs> you know? What happened to those? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I plan to do as well. Just mix them in. I'm glad we're getting all of our uh, main Decepticons as roughly Voyager size. Yeah, as they should have been in the beginning. Oh, like there's there's no reason for Shockwave to be a legend. So there's no reason for Soundwave to be a leader. Yep. I think with these, I gotta figure out what shelf is is gonna bite the dust and hit the Tupperware container. Uh oh, dude, I've got to redo my shelf. I, I think I some of the Beast Wars toys are gonna be retired. No, no, Tupperware. no, no, no. Sure just take them out. Good, That's the best <laughs> stuff, man. Uh, here's the here's this. I don't get this. Hey, they said it was supposed to be like some sort of patrol ship. Hey mate, they're just drop, making stuff drop up. the he can eject Ravage and laser right. beak like little yeah troops. <laughs> Probably from the bottom. Yeah. yeah, his chest is on the bottom of the vehicle. Well, it's better than a lamppost, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh, we've seen these. A uh, little open. Okay. We can hold one. Oh, there we go. I like how they can still turn them into cassettes. Yeah. Finally. Maybe little arm shields. Cassettes ish. <laughs> Data ish. boxes. There you go. There. Something. Oh, is that what you're talking about with the uh, spray painted black sound wave? Yep. That was a waste. Yeah, they're the designers. They, they probably got one of their own and did it. Probably have it as our sound blaster. Or just a lamppost. Plot twist. We're going to probably end up getting one. Oh, sound blaster? Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah. But they didn't do a sound blaster see. with the uh, the last sound wave, did they? It looks like sound wave's gun unfolds into a no. like, little mic right there. All I got to say is get used to seeing the Vipers because you're going to have a whole <laughs> fleet of them. Do you think they're going to do the cone heads? I don't know. Maybe. It's a brand new Seeker, man. Uh, brand new. Oh, my God! Oh, Jesus Christ. Got a stress ball? You need a stress. <laughs> you <laughs> might need two of them. <laughs> All right. Let's win this one. Penn State's done. Here's the new packaging. His head's going in, too. So that looks like that's kind of a reoccurring problem, maybe. But this is a <laughs> odd little thing here, but there you go. More eye-catching than what they've been doing with the last three lines. <laughs> uh, And here you go. Omega. I, I can't wait to see this at Toy Fair. Think it's going to have electronics or not? No. Nah. 
It's yeah. just got little caster wheels under it. It's well, it's the uh, maybe if man. anything, it'll probably just be like little light up eyes. I don't, I don't need electronics with it, but but it comes with a countdown as as a micromaster. Look at that shockwave in the back, though. That's what I'm looking. For. This is what Titan class. Yeah. Cool. I just yeah. showed off the it's, portion of it. It's all it's all garbage. <laughs> Penn State loss again. Oh my! It'll, God. it'll be thirty bucks at Ollie's. <laughs> that's that's what I told. Hey, we'll, we'll I told just get uh, Mike. Mike. I told Mike, I was like, I'm, I don't feel like paying 150 for Friday King. Just wait till this thing's 50 bucks at one of those <laughs> stores <laughs> much, that you yeah. at and just pick one up for me. Helps. He usually has like 20 of those, doesn't he? Yeah, he always yeah. Picks, yeah, 20 of them or, so, or 15 or 20 of them. So I'm just like, dude, you always have them. So I don't know why I keep on spending $150 on these things. Oh. Uh, I don't even. I, I can't. I can't even look at the other score right now. Um, so yeah, this studio drift, man. I just lost everything. Uh, you like it, Dalton? It's for you. No. Hmm. Pass. This is the last night, I guess. Yeah, with a little, it comes with a little mini Dinobots. I see paint on his wheels. Huh. Well, no, you're buying it then. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw the I saw the red. I saw some red. Sold. Yeah. Okay, Bar said he's getting the draft. I guess it looks better than the other ones. Paint's not so shiny. This is the Mercedes, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, flame toys. Uh, no transform. Inexpensive but officially licensed. Shattered glass drift. Light up features. Ooh. A lot of articulation. Sharp points. I'm still holding out hope for the uh, TFCon exclusive being Shattered Glass Drift <clears throat> from Mastermind. Drift Pool. Uh, pretty, pretty much. Drift Pool. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's how he's characterized. Uh, you got three different faces. Oh. Look, look what kind of God. face it has right here. Yeah. You know which one it is. <laughs> Same one as that, uh, what was it, Make Toys Jazz? Oh, and then here's, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And then you have this little headpiece thing. Rain, reindeer games. <laughs> That's when he's peacocking. I've <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a visor. Oh, too. now he's going to flash it too. Ooh. Oh god. Let's let's take a peek here. <laughs> yes. We're okay. tied up. We're tied up. There we go. All right. Now we go back to LA. Oh. Dodgers need to win the World Series. I'm I'm sick and tired of losing every year. All right, these are also flame toys. I love the design for Star Saber. I'm I'm get I'm watching these score updates as they happen, but I'm just gonna go rewatch. I don't know if I'm gonna. Re yeah, I'll probably rewatch the Penn State game. I was gonna say that's gonna be too painful, but I'll I'll rewatch games even if I know the score. 
He does look cool. Mm -hmm. It's like a little bit of victory and a little bit of Gundam. Man, with, with the way they're doing the leader classes, I would love to see Hasbro tackle that. Maybe on their next line. Dude, Cameron, look what I have to look forward to. Well, the Dodgers, they're tied up 1-1. Penn State just lost two games in a row. They're going to fall. They, they've got no shot at playoffs. The Dallas Cowboys, they're terrible. Jerry Jones is like, yeah, so Dak Prescott's kind of like Tom Brady. I'm like, this team is so delusional <laughs> from, the, from, from the top to the bottom. I was like, oh, my God, it's painful to watch. Uh <laughs> and then uh and then I've got the Lakers, which we got LeBron now, but I mean we've been losing for five years, so <laughs> and I don't think that's gonna turn around this year either. They'll sell lots of merch though, so it's okay. Every one of those teams are still better than my team in the same sport. <laughs> What's your team? Uh, Arizona, Arizona Cardinals? And then Mrs. Prime looks pretty good. No, it is, Cameron? <laughs> Oh, sorry, buddy. At least you got a quarterback that you can see if he's any good. Rosen. You got Decepticon face over there. <laughs> oh, man, all the, the Arizonas. Yeah, Phoenix Suns. Didn't they just fire their coach like eight days before the season started? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that's, that's a little strange. Yeah, I think they fired their GM like the year before that, too. Yeah, there's that guy we just saw. There's Decepticon face. He's been out. Yeah, so. And having that MMC one doesn't quite get better than that. Yeah, I, I'm glad that NMC has it because otherwise I might have had to buy that one. But these don't transform. These are little model kits and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I would just need it for the comic book, but no worries because NMC gave it to us already. Yeah, I, I definitely get these uh, model kits of Prime and Megatron. Sure. I, I don't like that previous oh. design for Prime as much as I like this current one right here. You and Dakota are into those little model kits and stuff. Oh, uh, this this thing. Why why is it not pulling up correctly? Okay, so, uh, JD Red Knight is this is this some type of exclusive? Uh, do you know more about this, Cameron? I tried to find some stuff on it. And I'm like, I don't I don't know what this is. Uh, I, I think it. it has to do with some sort of like delivery service or store in. Yeah, China. There's a symbol. Okay, so. China exclusive, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be what like their that? delivery trucks. That's not it. I had more pictures of it. I don't know what happened to it. But yeah, it's just a retool of Galvatron. <clears throat> Where is this? Where is this thing? I mean, it's not really that. Here, here it is. It's not really that important, but I mean, it's kind of like what they did with that uh, Aveo swerve. Yeah. God, I'm glad I'm not like a completionist on Transformers. <laughs> 
like where if you're a completionist on Transformers, like where does it cut out? Like, do you get into all the cyberverse and one steps and like like, or is it just like <clears throat> generation? Yeah, where does it stop? <laughs> yeah. Like, how far deep do you get in as far as saying, like, I collect them all? I got two mo- I used to be a completionist until I, I want to say the Bay movie number two or three. Mm. I gave up. And it was very liberating to give up. Yeah, here's the one I really like for the models. Okay, yeah. IDW style. Now, if they, if they did the Star Saber like this, huh. I would be 100% in. Yeah, too. but then yeah. uh, Toy yeah. World and some other company. Generation Toy. Generation Toy. Then they all, yeah. they did transforming. Yeah. Like so, like, I mean, it comes down to a model kit or tra- an actual one that can transform. I'm going with the one that can transform. Yep. I like the build. <laughs> <laughs> The build is what interests me. So how much will this set you back if you buy it? Mm, I think it's like forty dollars, mm. forty fifty. I mean, I think yeah, you usually pay less to build yeah. it than it is preassembled. Rick and I, we believe on a certain thing. We believe Transformers should transform <laughs> and figures that fly should come with flight stands. Every it time. true. Yep. Even figures that can jump a long ways should come with flight stands. <laughs> if you're dynamic at all, like Deadpool, Deadpool should always come with a flight stand. Every single Spider-Man. time. Spider-Man. And Spider-Man. There's no reason. I would... <laughs> I mean, it's almost like as important as the head. <laughs> so... Make action figures great again. Mafka. Mafka. <laughs> uh, Imaginarium art. Little little statue. We'll just kind of scan through it that real quick. Blue is very metallic. <laughs> uh, but officially licensed by Hasbro. More uh, more stuff that uh, Hasbro is like. Yeah, we'll we'll license this. No transform, right? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you move either. We approve it. Yeah, that's that's some, that's some bright blue gun that stands out. <laughs> For those Thundercracker super fans out there, that's yeah, not bad, yeah. I know of someone who would love a Star, uh, Skywarp one. Skywarp's my favorite because he's purple and black. Those are my favorite colors. Yeah, that's how I pick my my character. <laughs> Are they, are they going to sell more than 10 of those? Does anybody think they will? <laughs> oh, and here's the pop culture shock with their little statues. A little bit different. Mm-hmm. Cell shading. Crazy G1 base. Look at that base. Feels now, like the, car- the cartoon intro. Now, would you buy, <clears throat> going back to the discussion we were talking about with the Siege stuff, would you buy the next line more if they were cell shaded instead of had the battle damage? I would buy. I love cell shaded stuff like this. Are you talking about? Will I buy that? That's ugly. Starscream. I don't like the the way that mold is done. Is its problem. Let me for the next line after Siege. Oh yeah, if they were like G one style and cell shaded. You you, there's there's a lot of the figures they've already released. If they did them in cell shaded, I'd buy them again. I don't think they could do them in cell shaded though, because the lines on cell shading have to be like extremely specific. You could like cell shade, yeah. So once you transform like it and you move or... stuff around, yeah, you could do the windows, you could do the details, but you couldn't do the whole thing without messing it up. That's true. <clears throat> I think it would cost too much too. You couldn't get this effect what you're looking at here because once you transform it, it's just not going to look the same. Parts and pieces could be doing it, but. See, I, I, I like how they look like the cartoons just jumped out of the, you know, or they yeah. jumped out of the cartoon and they yeah, just they, they look like yeah. around on your desk. craft. Pretty awesome. 
What's the price on these? Did they, did they have a price on what these would cost? Just okay. curious. Cameron says, I looked up JD Red Knight. Apparently, JD is for Jing Dong, which is similar to Chinese Amazon. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So sort of like the, the Bape Optimus. Yeah. Except it's Galvatron with uh, Dino's head. <laughs> Why do they have prices? Price to be determined. No. Oh, we know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've seen this movie before. You're gonna need a loan. <laughs> if you come up to the booth and like, so what's that? Uh, to be determined. You can't afford. <laughs> Move, along. Move along. If you gotta ask, you can't afford it. Move yep. along. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I didn't realize there were so many pictures of these things. Look at that little smirk on him. <laughs> yeah, but there, are, there, are there any more? No, okay. We'll pick up. Uh, Alright, 3A. You know they're expensive. This move. There we go. These look nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but three A stuff's pretty expensive. Yeah. Mm hmm. They need to do a, one of the Transformers where it's a like a FedEx exclusive, but and then the box it comes all like <laughs> beat up and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it comes all beat up. Uh, and I mean the figure box, not the one that they're shipping it in. Oh, that's going to be beat up too. But. Did you see those boxes of those those Black Series figures that I posted? Oh, yeah. yeah. Those were the best three ones. There were like six or seven of them, and those were the three best ones. So I would have gone with the more, the worst ones and see if I could get a damaged product. Yeah, they won't do it. Oh, they're all, yeah. they're all bad. Up. I've asked them before if they would do it. They won't. <laughs> uh, K-Bar says with the FedEx exclusive, they also ship it to the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> so it's authentic yeah dude they they were playing games with me uh last week they, they kept they sent me a message this is expected to be here on saturday or, or friday i was like okay and then it was like oh it's saturday and now it's monday now it's tuesday now it's wednesday i'm just like you know what you just deliver it whenever you feel like it okay I don't think this thing transforms, though. I'm pretty sure it does. Wait, well, we just... I just want to look at these little small guys. Because we looked at a lot of pictures of the other ones. Target Masters, I'm on board with. Yeah, you got Blowpipe and Misfire. Or Aimless. Oops. I like the effects that they included with these two. Mm -hmm. Don't I, don't I already have this guy though. Sort of. I mean so it's all new molding, trials. but it's the same character. Because I, I was comparing Honestly, pictures of the <clears throat> Compared pictures of Fire Drive with the Firebolt that came with Hot Rod, and they're completely different. I love these. I'm yeah. buying all of them. Yeah, Flack and uh, was a big cannon or something like that. 
I don't care what their names are. I don't remember. I was a little kid when I had them. And there's a there's enough color on them too to you know to look decent, which I'm happy about. The see these. I, I'm not buying my nephew like one steps. I'm buying them like these because I'll oh, sit yeah. there. And I'll play with them. Obviously, you know, I have to wait till he stops like putting everything in his mouth and stuff. But these are awesome. Weird they're releasing them in little two packs because they were originally four packs. Yeah. I'm sure at some point we'll get the other two. 2018, man. I don't care about mm -hmm. this, though. The, the weird gun modes. I think it's kind of like a Hydra rocket launcher like from Predator. Or was it Predator or True Lies? I don't want one of those movies. Uh, Whisper and Storm Cloud. Yeah, I had I had these four too. My favorite oh, was guys. they had a, this one came with a a blue rattler too. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one was a silver tailwind, like Tomcat <coughs> night flight. I got these upstairs. I love these guys. I love those jet modes, and I yeah. love the combined mode. I hope we're getting a uh, Autobot repaint for the Star Saber. Yeah, I do like the four packs more because it feels more like a battle in a box type situation, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm glad, glad, uh, or at least not a huge little damage. It looks like there's a little, like a little bit here, but I could be mistaken. But that looks great. Yeah. You can have him holding the little flywheels from Titan's Return as a weapon, too. All right, and what else we got? Here's some uh, Takara. I am super excited for this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I knew they were going to do Dialysis at one point out of that mold. Made sense. Well, and it, it looks like it's all going to be one component. Like, they're not going to separate just the way they had him. Yes. Sonic Bomber mm -hmm. looks completely new. Mm -hmm. Even though it's just a retool of uh, Misfire. Yeah. yeah, he does a good job at just doing what he needed to do. I'll probably get this. I don't get these little bitty battle stations or whatever. But... As part of the, the zone. I think they all turned into bases, but yeah, Roadfire looks really good. Yeah, they, they, that was the Overlord, or Overlord mode, yeah. Yeah, these look insanely good. I actually was surprised. Like I, I, I thought we might get Dialysis, but I didn't think they would do this. Well, with all the remolding they did too, like you could actually have the the Zeta shield or the Zed shield or whatever. And the main reason I think they don't split apart is if you look, that's the back end of the tank up at the yeah. front there. So it looks like it's all going to be one component. Cameron asked, "Did these come with MicroMasters?" I don't. I didn't. I didn't have some, these. So. They originally did, but they're they're just going to use the Titan Masters uh, for them this time around. I mean, it might come one. with the one for Die Atlas. That looks really good. There you go, old big power combined. That looks awesome. I like this. I like this March. March. 
yeah, March is way too far. Can this be Christmas morning? This is March, January, next... and February going to be expensive months. I know that for sure. March next year, huh? Wow. Yeah. It's a long way. Six months. It's usually the yeah. range for Takara and their exclusives. I'll get some third party uh, Giga Power. Me want. So yeah, Chris can finally finish his four years of building his <laughs> bots. Uh, so you got these little stand. They got a uh, uh, lights too. It's so, a whole Iron Man assembly line thing going so you on. Got the, you got the red and the blue. Now, usually they come out with like uh, metallic and then they come out with a chrome version. I'm not sure which ones these are. It looks like they're doing the chrome first. Looks chromed out as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah flaky, the chrome flaky. one's always the first one to come out. So. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw a, a thing on there where these were like working lights. Really? Yeah. That's something new then. Hey, they thought you guys were worth it for hanging in there for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the last one, or are they finally done after this? No, they got Grimlock left. <laughs> yeah. to Bear with years. us, guys. Bear with us. They're almost there. Their weapons are awesome, too, man. I, I, I love it, but Jesus, man. Their next one after that is going to be Skylinks. Uh, now watch them do paddles next. That's if you're in the six year plan. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guy, so six freaking year heavy too. Like Chris has got to have like 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 probably like eight of those like little things for one shelf to hold it up. <laughs> he looks so unhappy there. Like uh, final victory. <laughs> Well, wow, these are MP skill. Suppose they look a lot better than Bad Cube. Yeah, but it's another company I've never heard of. It's just, I don't know. Everybody's been waiting for that one, though. I mean, Huffer, come on. Oh, yeah. Get yourself a Warpath. Ron? Huffer? Yeah, Warpath looks all right. I don't know. I, the fans' toys is planning to do a Huff, uh, Warpath as well. Seems to be a little better looking. Planning. <laughs> planning. It'll be about five years. Five to ten. This is a new company, correct? Yeah. I, the first yeah. Time I, I'm always a little skeptical whenever it's a brand new company, and they're like, here's three figures out the gate. Like, hey, let's – I want to make sure you – you get one right, you come out with your first one, you try your best to make it right, and then you listen to feedback like, hey, this could be better, this is a little loose, or this could be better. That way, you've improved on the second figure. You've already three figures in at the very beginning, so whatever mistakes you've made, you're probably going to make them across the board for all three of them, and then there's going to be another wave of whatever your next whatever if you did three figures again like then we won't start to see the improvement so i don't know that's just the kind of the way that i think but i mean they, oh they all three they can be absolutely perfect right out the gate i'm just saying with my experience the new companies like that first mm -hmm. figure usually needs a little bit more tlc you know well there's a lot of weird Bold form stuff going on with third party some people are speculating that uh this may be one of the more well-known companies that are Doing an umbrella under a different name. They've been doing that, yeah, for years. You know, so it could be an experienced group that are probably going out on their own, or, or probably a merger. Yeah, yeah, or or something like Make Toys going under a different name, doing something on the side. I don't know. With the way they've got their thing designed, there it looks like it might be a branch of Fans Project. And, and then you got claims of you know one guy stealing designs from the other so it's it's getting kind of crazy oh like the whole poor world zeta thing. yeah well I mean, I don't at the end of the day they're all stealing the designs from I don't yeah, think yeah. That, i was that gonna was say 
Uh, here's your X-Transbot uh, spike. Does this thing... What's, so what's his transformation look like? I don't think he turns into anything. He yeah. has no transform. Because that's how the character was. Yeah. If they can pull off a transformation, I gotta give them a big applause. Because that's a, a mess. pile of scrap. <laughs> but he's meant to be looking like a mess. So, yeah. Any Cyberverse toy, that's what he turns into. Yeah. <laughs> halfway. Yeah. <laughs> That each, wouldn't. Each buy. limb is halfway. <laughs> what, I mean, we know what it's from, you know, but like, I, I wouldn't buy this just for robot form. It's got to turn into something stupid looking. They just they know that people bought, you know, Quin Quintessons and Nightbirds, and they're like, "What about this guy?" I guess. Autobot X, who? <laughs> uh, and then. Doing a Alita one as well. That is a very early on prototype, you can tell. It's very pink. Yeah, let's see what they do and see what fans toys or <laughs> any of these other companies do. Because that does not look promising <laughs> even at that stage. Well, it's very early. I mean they haven't put any sculpt details into it. Uh perfect effect. I think Chris said he wanted this. I asked him, is he going to do drop tests? He was absolutely. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, this looks all right. Yeah, it looks cool. It's tempting. It looks like they're using the same design for the uh, oh, the Genrai and Magnus. I want to see Josh do this one uh, on his YouTube channel. Because <laughs> <laughs> this looks like Diesel Part 2. I don't know, man. In the middle of it, you can see me taking my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> 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 it's just amazing how they get that trailer to turn into the armor and a uh, little jet to look like Jetfire. I kind of, it, I'd like to at least put hands on this one. I don't know if I need to own it, but I feel like I need to transform it once. I, I just look at that. And I'm like, that's making me lightheaded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, this, there's no way that this doesn't take an hour to transform the first time. There's no way. You start, you, you have to go take a smoke break in between. <laughs> I know this, this, would. You need like good LED lights and a big table for that one. Yeah, union break. Yeah. Uh, Toy World. Or doing their own uh, mob war, huh? What is this now? Oh, okay. Exhaust. Oh, they are. Yeah. It's That's the little one, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, guys. Yeah, to go through eye gear and unique toys. Some of them are pretty good. I just don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Well, it looks like they're doing a G1 style and then uh, line up with Cyberverse. Or it's like they're all them. judging them. <laughs> <laughs> they're bullying them. <laughs> <laughs> there, there he is. <laughs> like something out of Karate Kid. And he calls in his buddy Abominus. One she'll stand, one she'll fall. Who will win? <laughs> uh, Superion <laughs> or the one arm Minnesota? One -armed Minnesota. <laughs> it's one of the greatest YouTube videos I've ever seen. Now, this looks really cool. Oh, yeah. Who, who is this? It's a uh, Bumblebee from a new Transform company. Element. Yeah. Oh, is that the animal one thing? Yeah, it's from the T Beast book. Yeah. So this is Bumblebee tempting. with car details on his chest, but he turns into, I think, a lion. Someone we know doesn't care for this. I don't. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I love these designs. The Generation toy and is it uh, Dakota company? No, I, I think I don't think he's getting any of these. Yeah. It's a shame. It's right up his alley. Oh, and they got the side swipe as a bull. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah. Generation Toy is uh -huh. doing that one. And I gotta admit, I, I really like that Generation Toy Gorilla. 
Yeah, I've been looking at that one for a while, but it, yeah. it's just a scale. I mean, if they're more like classics, check scale. Oh, I like the be... scale. I don't know. It just seems to work for me. All right, G creation. Oh my god. Eighty. That's eighty-four centimeters. All right. What's the eighty-four? That's about two foot, just under three foot. We Holy we smokes. don't we do the matrix system. We don't know how to do. <laughs> oh, we don't. Do, hang on, hang on, hang on. Inches. Eighty-four centimeters. You said. Yeah, eighty-four yeah. centimeters. How huge? It's, we have no idea yet. It's going to be <clears throat> just under three feet. How many inches? Um, 33 inches, K-Bart. Jesus, yeah. come on, Dalton. Yeah, so it's just under three feet. Wow. Yeah, 2.5 feet. Jeez. That's a small child. <laughs> 84 feet tall. 84 feet tall. Sure, why not? <laughs> And then dino mode, 63 centimeters. So it'll be a one to one scale. <laughs> yeah, 24 inches. 24.8. Damn. A Titan class Grimlock. How about that? Oh, that way you can have them write them. God, you are still making stuff for this movie. That's gonna be like a little non-transforming prime that comes with him. Well, they said he's twenty-four centimeters. What is that? Or twenty twenty-eight centimeters. Eleven inches. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's probably just one, their regular uh, yeah. thing. Wow. This is G creation. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, G creations. Have I got Did my they... hands on the punch counter punch? Not yet. I've ordered it. It's on back order at Amazon. Same here. Yeah. A little frustrated. I canceled my pre order. Uh, was one of the reasons because I didn't want to overdraft. I had medical bills coming up, so I had to cancel some stuff. God, that thing is huge. Uh, now this is huge. a I forgot what this thing is. It's not the G creations, it's like a like a knockoff version or something. Mm. I think. They're all knockoffs. Yeah. All right. Papa Toys. Oh, this is the same ones that did the little hot rod, huh? You love Papa Toys? No. Uh, not really. Yeah, I just ordered the the counter punch. Just hope Who someone does better it power more. the Prime's Predaking or Combiner Wars Devastator? Uh, I mean, I want the de uh, Predaking. I passed on yeah. Devastator. I need to get Predaking. Still need to pick up the upgrades for Devastator. Since I didn't get the Takara. Uh, fans hobby. Uh, here's their uh, jet mode. Oh, double evil. Right that thing is huge. Bonnet. Yeah. So if they cross the next wing with the mm -hmm. SR seventy one, and added in a little bit of a R wing in there too. Yeah, you can order uh, if you order multiple things from Amazon. Like I ordered the punch, and then I also ordered the Black Series Droid little three pack here. The Droid 3 pack came in first. So, and I, I purchased enough to where I was going to get free shipping. And that's what I intended to do. And I knew they'd send them. So, I'm, they've already sent me the Droid 3 pack. And then the uh, Counter Punch is on back order. But I'll get free shipping with that as well. Because when I place the order, 
I had ordered a certain dollar amount to get free shipping. So I yeah. kind of tricked the system a little bit. I Stick do, it to the man. Yeah. I do stuff like that. Yeah, just use Amazon Prime. I do it to Walmart too. Dude, I got so much crap on layaway. I'm not like I'm not even gonna buy probably a quarter of it. But like I just put like a, <laughs> I just go through my buggy, I put a crap load of stuff on layaway, and then whenever it comes time for me to like take it out, I see if any of it's dropped on clearance and gone cheaper. Like I picked up two dobacks that were sixty bucks a piece. I put them on layaway. They're already down to uh sixty dollars for the two of them. So I've already saved sixty dollars on that. Uh, they'll probably go down a little bit more here in a month. I was telling Rick, I was like, dude, I save like like at least a hundred bucks every year by doing this. <laughs> I was like, how do you think I army build all this stuff? <laughs> Got armed up pretty good. And a couple more pictures. Double evil. Yeah, that's what they're calling it. Yeah, I wasn't Here's sure if that's what they called this one or the what was it? Uh, Iron Factory one. What the hell is that? Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but anyways. Oh, those are those little armor packs. Yep, that's what I bought my uh, Overlord on Amazon. Yeah, it was like thirty bucks, I think, or twenty-five bucks. It was cheap. Uh, Papa Toys as well. Little bitty guy. You want translucent? <laughs> there you Must go. Be a lucky draw, like with those um, Generation Toys Constructicons. What Cameron, you said that the <clears throat> Mastermind Creations Carnifex, it's cheaper than thirty-five dollars? No way. Where? I uh, said it's less than that and still in stock at some stores from the huh. unless oh, or are you talking about six well what which what which figure are you talking about, Cameron? If you guys know what deals, yeah. Thirty-six dollars for something that was one hundred and eighty. I'm down. Share, <laughs> share, uh, share your deals in the chat. Let's help each other. Ooh, scatter shot. Oh, he's okay. He's replying to a different person. He said on Amazon, the IDW uh, Carnifex. He goes, it's two hundred fifteen. He was like, oh, okay, so it was like it's cheaper. It was cheaper than that. Okay. Uh, he's one of the more interesting newer characters <clears throat> as far as the vehicle mode and robot design and this is the got it I had it Man, Whew. lost it. Uh, Shockwave Lab, a couple of little. Oh, these, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. thinking about picking those up. I need to get a transmetal rat trap. <clears throat> is that is that gun the right scale? It looks fine to me. Uh, the gun's a little big, but th the sword club weapon is the right scale. It's it's trash, Dalton. You don't need them. <laughs> Weapons for twenty year old saving you money. <laughs> uh Shockwaves Lab as well. Yeah, same gun for Dinobot from Code of Hero. Hmm. I, don't know, I, I think I'm just gonna get the model upgrade that comes with everything. Uh, he's got a little holster here on oh, you can plug up one of the back hold. 
a good idea. All right, getting into some uh, non-transformers. I know there's a lot of tasks, but I'm going to go kind of quick with some of them. Uh, but <clears throat> Bucky O'Hare, so one of the next figures that they're going to be having is Bruiser, the monkey guy. Pretty cool. These, these look really good. And some Star Wars figures. Uh, don't really care about those, but Resistance, three and three quarter inch. Hmm. Uh. Wow, that looks straight up off the show. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Is it any good? I, I watched the first episode with Xander today. It's okay. He he loved it. I thought it was okay. <clears throat> I do think it's cool that I, uh, Oscar Isaacs is doing, you know, his Poe voice. I like it when they come from the film to the cartoons. Oh, he did? Not, yeah, that's not Yeah. Good. I like it when they care about their characters enough to do that, like Anthony Daniels and C-3PO, you know. <laughs> I kind of like that character. I, I just like that suit. Yeah, she's got a cool suit. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That Grievous looks awesome. So, yeah. six inch black series. Finally, with the Grievous. Yeah, man. I told y'all it was coming. I'm talking the black series, like, really did level up, or it's oh, been yeah. leveling up. Like, the last few months in this 2019, yep. it really is leveling up. They're doing a good job. For a while, I mean, the distribution is it hasn't is not fixed, but it's. I have been finding stuff between Josh and I. We've been finding a few things here and there. Oh yeah, uh, Cameron, I appreciate it. Yeah, if you find any of the Gamorrean guards, I need two of them, guys. They're a Target exclusive. It's the it's the fat pig guy. It's like a thirty dollar figure. I wonder if they'll do like a two armed Grievous with the closed. No, it, it it can close. The arms can snap together. They can really. Yes, yes. The this is a new price point too. This isn't just a like you know one up deluxe. Like that thirty dollar price point, like Moloch and the Gamorian Guard. That's going to be anytime they have a character that's big or tall or you know what what not has a lot of moving parts. It's going to get the thirty dollar price tag. Uh, I'd probably be down for this and uh, Obi Wan. Yeah. yeah, I mean the Obi Wan that looks nice. I'll, I'll, that's a great face. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like a mix of what movie and the series. I think the the final is supposed to have a photo real, you know, Ewan McGregor face. Oh, and he's gonna come with this little stand too. I hope so. No, he he does. I'm saying he does come with that little triangle stand. There you go. Yeah, I think the I'm on both of these. Baby step, baby step. I don't, know, I don't know why, but he is coming with it. Oh, I miss you, little guy. You're so ugly. <laughs> yeah, why can I find you anywhere? <laughs> uh, but this is for vintage collection, so the three and three quarters are getting them. Gotta, gotta get that sail barge crew ready. <laughs> yeah, they're smart, man. These assortments around February, March, man, they're. Aiming at that barge crew, hardcore. Yeah, I had I had this guy. Like, I had all these Star Wars characters when I was a kid. Caden, there's something wrong, buddy. He said, "I've never seen Star Wars movies." What? You need to fix that. What? That's not possible. Man, I've, got, I've, got, two, I've got two nephews. That's one impossible. of them about to turn three. The other one that just turned three months. They both seen multiple Star Wars movies. Now the three month old has no idea what he was looking at. He, he just kind of bobbed his head around and stuff. But, <laughs> uh, I love these. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love this line too. I like the old school stuff. Yeah, going on with these. This. I've been really back into these. Like I wasn't troop building these, and now I'm suddenly I have like five death troopers and like <laughs> the the uh, range troopers. I think I have like eight of those already. Sweet. <clears throat> I'll, I'll order some more. 
Oh, you need to hit up GameStop and just have your guy like uh, look up a bunch of different ones that you want. And I think they're eleven dollars, like all their figures. So and what what my guy does, I just go in there. I'm like, here's all the figures that are doubles that I'd I'd be willing to buy, and He's like, all right, this store and this store and this store has them. And he's like, how many do you want? I'm like, how much are they? He's like, oh, they're on sale for eleven dollars. I'm like, I'll take two of these, three of those, <laughs> one of those. And so like, he's ordered like another like eight or nine figures for me. Nice. Uh, so vintage collection. It's gonna be a busy year, 2019. It's gonna be expensive <laughs> year. Yeah. That looks good. I wasn't troop building the Black Series like very much either, like hit, hit just here or there. But now I've been troop building Black Series too. So pretty much I'm like troop building from Hot Toys down to the to the three and three quarter. I'm troop building. It's crazy. Oh, uh, what's up, punk? <laughs> Whoa! All right, and this one I've got good news. So you know that two pack that was going to be exclusive only to like some con in England or Europe or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, this little two pack here is going to be available for us to order on November 6th. What's, what's the day of the week is that? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't do that much diving into it, but it's Monday or Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Limit two per house. Monday or Tuesday, I don't remember. But this kind of irritates me because I just bought that Target exclusive Leia. Oh, it's yeah, but different. you don't you don't get the you don't get the vest. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's different. And yeah, in the in the, in the escape, she only has the bottom. You know, the, the hair's but... the hair's different, and then the jacket is different as well, <clears throat> and the boots are different. She doesn't have. Uh, She's got gray boots on this where she's got just white pants that go all the way down on the Target exclusive. Yeah. yeah so they're different. This looks better. And the Han Solo, that's completely exclusive. Yeah. I could care less about these boxes, but I just want the figures. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 11, 11, 6. Let's not forget. We got to write that down. All right, so more exclusives. Let's see which ones. Uh, the Stormtrooper disguise Luke Skywalker is a Target exclusive. The Rocket Trooper is a GameStop exclusive. And the... I believe, believe that's it on that, so. Hmm. So, this one and this one are going to be exclusives. And this one, this one, this one, regular retail. It's great. <laughs> For sure, right? I know, man. The interrogation stuff on his hands is cool. Now, this is like the, the evil ones, right? Yeah. But they hers or something? I've never read this comic, so. That, me neither. That little astro droid means business. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's going to mess you up. <laughs> it's like Chopper Hoop. <laughs> Oh, so he's. It looks like he's going to be coming with that little square. Yeah. Stand. So are they all going to come with the little triangle stands? It, it nice. must be. It must be all of the troopers. You know what I'm saying? Like, because all of the same feet will fit into that little sculpted thing on the front. Then here's so, something that I would like: is just come out with a packs of like twenty, where I could just buy like twenty stands. Yep. You know, or or forty or something like that. Like, well, I mean, what's a good price? Like. 50 cents a stand since these are like little small things you know 
So come out with 40 yeah, for yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah. Put them up on eBay. Yeah, but these guys are going to come with that stand. Then I'd rather all have the same stand. You know what I'm saying? So it's all uniform to all on the shelf. Because mm-hmm. some of these guys, uh, on, on my Star Wars shelves, there's about 40 of them that are falled over. And some of the Black Series, I think some of the first ones didn't come with holes on the bottom. So I think that's why they are going with that. And then here's your vintage collection, Hover Tank Trooper. Mm-hmm. That's a weird looking face. Yeah, I don't think he looks that good. I've seen other people like it, but. And here's uh, Marvel Legends. Don't know about that. <laughs> Doug Pool and. Is it Squirrel Pool? Yeah. Oh, Bob. Dakota could get one of those to like match his Camaro and <laughs> those days when he when he wants to, you know, carry carry the squirrel into work. Is it just supposed to be a Hydra agent or is that supposed to be Bob? I look like it's a Hydra agent. <clears throat> Oh, and this guy, he comes with uh, this head for the Kingpin. So I saw it in this packaging. Oh, yeah, the Shadow King. Uh, This is another thing where there's like a ton of pictures. He's wearing a fez. I forget this dude's name. Caliban. Okay, yeah, that's right. After Apocalypse changed him. Who's it again? Caliban. He was one of the Morlocks. He was kind of skinny and frail. He's in the Logan movie, too. I'd have to yeah. check it. I he's haven't the, seen he's the Logan the guy yet. That, uh, he's like pale white. Yeah. And can't, he is burned by the sun. Yeah, he used to live in the tunnels with the Morlocks. Oh, that's a two pack right there. No, it was all on. Can't tell who. Was there that you can finish, finish up your uh, bad guys. For a order. <laughs> I was almost going to say dark side. He looks bad good. Guys, <laughs> fake, fake dark side. I like the de- <laughs> details on these look good. Yeah, here's this guy. Yeah. Oh, he like Squidward. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're not gonna get uh you're not gonna be getting any uh big masterpiece, especially primes for hundred and sixty man. Yeah. Those dice are over. I wish they included those stands. I sent I sent Bobby a DM. I have not heard back from him. I'll, I'll hit him up again. And I, I know that he worked up on, on that um, Professor X and that Deadpool with the Vespa or whatever. I just got that Thanos. I like the new Thanos a whole lot. The fa- the angry face is what they needed. For the build a figure anyway. You got the three pack? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cool. I like and the Doctor Strange, the new hand stuff, you know, the spells. That looks good. Yeah. Too. Cool. We get to see Beta Ray Bill in the movies. 
Uh, there's uh, another Craven. I like the other Craven. <clears throat> this one, they're finally doing the Craven's Last Hunt, which is something we talked about on uh, Galactic Gumbo. We were talking about like what we wanted this probably a year ago, and that was on my list. I'll pick it up. I get maybe oh, I don't know because it comes with it's a two pack with this black Spider Man suit. Yeah, but I've already got a black Spider Man suit, and I've already got Perfect. a Kraven, and I like them both already. So I wish he came with with um more stuff from the book, like the the tombstone, Peter's tombstone from the graveyard, something cool. If you guys have never read that, it's worth reading. Craven's Last Hunt, super dark, really good. I'll get this guy just because I need to build a figure. And I missed out on the other black cat, so I guess I'll get this black cat. <laughs> I like the I like the other one better. Yeah, me too. It's kind of a classic look. Yeah. I pat I ha held it in my hand so many times at Walgreens and I just never bought it. <laughs> I was like, this thing is so old. They still want twenty dollars for it. The box is all beat up and stuff. I like the silver sable though, she's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. And the kingpin's just a home run. I can't wait to get him. Yeah. He's a good villain, too, because you can put him against Daredevil, Spider-Man. I mean, he, can, uh -huh. he serves a lot of purposes. I love that they made him a Shadow King, too. Like, they're really thinking on that one. He's a big man. Big man with big plans. Exactly. That Daredevil season three, man. Whew. Dude, I love Vincent as the kingpin. I, oh, me too. Me too. I I love him as an actor. Uh, I've recently started wa watching uh, Law and Order: Criminal Intent, the one yeah. that he's in, because he's yeah. so good in it. Yeah, he's he is a good actor. He may be one of my favorite uh, villains now that's ever been in, like in the live action Marvel stuff. You'd be hard pressed to find a better villain that they've had. He's really he makes you hate him. Oh, uh, what's what's his name? He's he's a, a new one. It's Forge. Forge, yeah, that's right. I wish his uh the you know the the metal part of his leg. I wish it was like you know a different color or I don't know. It looks. I guess it's. I guess they're going for cartoony though. Maybe. Because he was on the cartoon a few episodes, I believe. Yeah, he was. He was yeah. with, the, with Bishop. Yeah. Bishop back a few times. So maybe it's purposeful. Maybe the way they're handling that. Uh, does anyone here watch The Flash on CW? I, I mean, I do. I, I'm kind I of a little tired of it. Behind. Not for I'm, a while. I'm up to date. I just watched the new episode. Yeah, I mean, I'm up to date, but I, I'm kind of tired of it. Arrow and Flash is the only two that I, I give, I'm giving a, sh a chance to anymore. Uh, here's your uh, Captain Marvel. Includes an additional head. I saw that uh, Brie Larson, she was like, what is the additional head? Always like additional head. <laughs> Who does it? <laughs> and, uh, there's your Nick Fury. So all you have to do is you can buy this figure and you can have your Nick Fury and then you can also have one from Pulp Fiction. You just need to find like John <laughs> from Walter figure and you can have yeah. like a little... Uh, like is this a, a big Cajon or Cajuni burger? Well, I forget what the name Kahuna. of it. Kahuna. Kahuna burger. Hey, I taste... I have a bite. Oh yeah, this way this way is a total pass for me. All those figures like I couldn't care about. Ugh. 
till you see the movie. And you're yeah, like, wow. then you'll then you'll want them all. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I that's how I am. A fiction determines what I that. what I want. All right, and then here is what which is oh Diamond Select Toys. Oh god, where did I what I messed up? There we go. There's only a few of them here. Your Thors. Do people still buy Diamond Select toy Marvel figures as good as Love Gens are? Where, like where do you even buy them? Like uh I only cause... used to buy them at Hastings, but uh you can go you can buy them on Walmart uh and Target online, even though I've never seen them in store, but if you go on their website and you go to order them, like sometimes they get them for cheap. Uh, my comic stores, like the ones that are still in business, because some of them have gone out of business in the last few years, like they just order really low on stuff like that. Because people just don't buy them, is what they told me. <clears throat> and so there's the, the few figures. Yeah, they don't they don't come very, out with very many a year. Uh, McFarland, they're going to be doing their uh, moon movie maniacs and tortured souls. So all this weird Weird. horror stuff. I used to buy movie maniacs like way back, way back. (laughs) Yeah. I'm not into any of that horror stuff. So, uh, McFarlane interesting as Ash. They are also be going to be doing a six inch line of game of Thrones. I hope the figures turn out better than these concepts. Cause. Wow. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, not, not, not a good start. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we're just looking at you know basic little concept art here. McFarlane, quit messing around with these things and finish my Borderlands figures. <laughs> Uh, DC Essentials, new. Uh, I, I still have yet to buy any of these. Uh, I, ju- I just bought uh, Batman, Flash, and uh, Reverse Flash, but I haven't opened them yet. But I can tell you, they don't come with any everything you loved about icons. Just get that out of your head. Yeah, because they don't come. Bat- Batman comes with a battle ring. No I, extra hands. No extra hands. I do like that they're upsized a bit, but the lack of accessories just keeps me from buying them. The, the paint. Well, color, they first too. showed them off. They showed them off coming with these like specialty stands for each yeah. one of them having a specialty stand. Like it was a uh, Batman was like hanging off like a like a ledge with like a gargoyle, and Superman was like flying through the air, flight uh-huh. stand. It, like it was like it's wow, true. man, they're coming with all these crazy stands and stuff. And then it's like nope, and no accessory. No. It's just figure, and it's like. They don't get it. They don't get, and they're, it's all about keeping that price point. And these are characters that we love. I mean, you know, so yeah, like we didn't get a cheetah with a and and a sit, you know, an icon. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind her. And there was a bunch of ones that we didn't get in icons: Brainiac and Black Manta. You know, like I want all those those figures. Yeah, they dropped uh, a couple of them too that they were supposed to release. Yeah, we were supposed to get a Booster Gold and Blue Beetle uh, yeah, two pack. Yeah. Didn't get that. Uh, yeah, the yeah the Catwoman they dropped it, and uh, what was it Sinestro and a bunch of bunch yeah, of- I was uh-huh. pissed, pissed about it. I mean, these look these look good, but I, they don't. I just need them to come with. They don't really understand us. I feel like, or either they do, and the price point is just that important. Yeah, well, they're like, hey, we added this all extra. I've never needed little boot or calf articulation because I always thought if I used it, it looks stupid because the leg doesn't line up correctly. Like like this boot, that's fine because it's an actual boot, but whenever it's the leg, the calf, that looks stupid. And I'm looking at the like the Wonder Woman. I'm like, yeah, it looks fine. But the icons one, it like, looks better. You know, it came, yeah, it came with a sword, the shield, a la- two lassos, everything. Yeah, even the Supergirl it, looks better. The icons, it's, and it's not. Oh the, yeah, it looks great. It's just, it's just the accessories that I'm mad about. That's all. Yeah. Now, if they if they were to show like when these came out, the first like two series, and they showed an accessory pack, 
And if I had to buy the accessory pack to get everybody's accessories for like 30 bucks, I would, if they would, if they would do that. But the fact that I don't have a choice or an option, that's the part I'm mad about. Yeah, I was planning on buying them all too, but I just canceled all my pre-orders for all of them. And I'm just like, well, I'll keep an eye on this and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. I'll let you know how they, I'm going to open them up this week. Cause I don't keep the boxes. <laughs> and there's se seven inches too. Like, oh, you know, <clears throat> that's all. That. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, super seven, the they're going to be, they're going to yeah. be doing ultimates of the filmation stuff. You know what? I think Super 7, like, I went in on your first thing with it and with your filmation. Your ultimate, you should just package, like, the stuff that you didn't give me with it and let me just be able to buy that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was, I was all in with you because we've had this conversation before where, to me as an adult collector, what this shows me is I don't – I'm an, I'm the idiot – if I go ahead and buy in on your first wave of stuff, because I know the better offering is going to be later on. And if everyone had that mindset, then your line doesn't ever succeed. And you it's, it's terminated because no one bought in on the initial line or initial wave. You get what I'm saying? I, I do this. Yeah. And I, it's a, it's a, I think it's a hard choice. This is for those people that can't pay. They they just discovered it. They saw like one of our videos or heard us talking about it. Someone's talking about it. They see them, yeah. and they don't want to pay a hundred and some dollars per figure, which is great. Like eBay prices for master stuff currently. I know we talked. You, Josh has alerted me. I think to some of the prices, but since then I've looked into it. It is nuts. Like. It's even the Super Seven stuff is nuts. Like, oh, for these oh, yeah. Two. yeah, yeah, it's super I, expensive. That's it, it's made to order. But what I'm saying is, I'm I'm totally okay with that because I'm I'm not like Dakota to where I'm like I bought it <laughs> when it was exclusive and I don't want anyone else to have right, this right. play <laughs> outrageous money, yeah. you know, uh, because it was exclusive. No, I'm like fine. Let everyone that wants to have it have it enjoy the hobby enjoy the characters get on board with this let's make this thing grow but this right here that i'm circling put yeah. that little package on yes. its own and sell it to me you should you should um hit him up you know super seven store definitely tweet at him i'll retweet it i'll, I'll mention it too i think that's a good idea because i you know since i got that little triclops head in the in the yeah. mail with the other stuff Lucky. i do feel i feel like they're i feel like they're listening and he's He's actually yeah. listening, and let's. And I'll be honest. This line right now, this line impresses me more than any other line I collect. Everything Same I collect, here. this is my number one as far as what you get. Same oh yeah, I've, I've got, I got right here. Uh, you well, you can't see it because I'm you know screen sharing, but I've got the seven <coughs> figures stacked up right here. You know, on my review table, along with yeah. a bunch of other stuff. Like, and I've got Star Wars stuff. I got some Marvel Legends with Sentinel and some Transformers. Do these. These masters of the universe are the first thing I'm opening. Yeah, yeah but look at look at the ankles. They they fixed them. They look better yeah. than the first ones. That and right I, there. I know some people it. will tell tell you they're like, hey, look, you know, you could just buy this and then like just switch the head. That way you can have both representations. You know, I guess you could, but I mean, do I really want to pay fifty, sixty dollars for a figure just so because he has a different head? Like I do, I do that. Often with the black series figures, but they're twenty bucks. Yeah. So I get yeah. them on sale. Yeah, you know, we're talking about something you know a little bit different price point there. Yeah, these don't go on sale; they only go up in price. Yeah. Now, so, uh, let's see. Who was I'm there? definitely getting them though. Oh yeah, I like. I'm gonna if I do get another one, I am gonna give my kid my old one. Now, yeah. Cam been... Cameron says he goes. You can <laughs> sell the older ones, the ones you have right now for the higher amount of money and then buy these and cheaper, but I guess you yeah. could do that. It's always a pain in the ass. Just to sell nah, stuff more on eBay or something is because even though like you don't play with your figures and something's just like a little bit loose and they're like, they complain and I just, right. Don't yeah. want stuff and, and we know snake mountain is coming too. So that's in the back of my head. Like this line is, is ripe for you know with the, i love the new stuff that they're doing too like that dollar mug 
Once I got yeah. that dollar mug in hand, I'm like, dude, this is this is awesome. I need the dollar mug. That's the one it, thing I need. It, it's That's cool a must <clears throat> it it you know it's it's like a continuation <laughs> of where we left oh. off as a kid. Oh lord! Yeah. All right, oh. so these are uh, limited what? edition. These two they are seventy dollars for the two pack. Now, I, I have no idea where too. this price point is came from. Where like the two of them, you go look on a line, they're limited, and like you, you buy them as a two pack, you just can't buy one or the other. It's like these two figures, they're seventy dollars. Yeah. Like, where's that money going? Because these aren't artic. <laughs> we're just looking at the articulation on these guys, like, and they're what thirty five bucks a piece. So, like, it would have been, you know, for he made a Skeletor, you know. And can you tell me about that, by the way, with the Skeletor heads? Why do we have two? Uh, I, I'm not sure. They look alike. Look the same. I, I didn't tell. see a big difference. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Kimor says, are those five points of articulation? Yes! Yep. They are, huh? But for 35 bucks a piece. How big are they? 5.5 or? Uh, probably. Yeah, so they're 35 bucks so. a piece, but you can't buy them individually. So it's 70 for the two of them, and they're five points of articulation. Yeah, they can have it. Why? <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I get me a stridor. Oh, there gives you an idea how big they are. So yeah, about there we go. Yeah, about four inches. Looks like uh, catcher is four inches, maybe in the four it's, and a half, five inches for the Shira. It's kind of weird. Five inches. So what do we have? Two shows now that came from Netflix that we've had. Well, like packaging. limited articulation. The the Voltron stuff. Remember when we saw the pilots in hand, <clears throat> like in the store? Yeah, yeah. The, and it's, is it a, is it a coincidence that they both came? You know, they're both associated with Netflix. There must be something. I'm assuming there's something on the back end that we're not understanding or privy to at this point. If these were made by Super Seven. I, I understand, but I'm just saying that it's it's kind of a weird coincidence that you know two companies, both Netflix shows, and both are like the figures are really limited, and the other stuff that the company does is not so bad. That's why I'm raising, I'm kind of scratching my head. I don't know licensing. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I I I. I... I've said it so many times. I hate the way the Shiva looks. I don't mind the Catra. I think that she looks kind of cool. I like her. She's kind of got like a Catra and then also a little bit of Thundercats in her too. You know? Yeah. 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 So I guess that's why I like her. But <coughs> definitely no on the Shira. Uh, Ooh, have we, already, have we already paid for this or have we got a chance to pay for this? I can't. I no. Just, no. no I don't think so. This hasn't no. gone up yet. Okay. So I'm uh, ordering all of them. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> this is a great set right here. Like every single one of them. Yeah. What are those tiny transformers? Oh, the little Kishi, uh, Keshi surprise. Yeah, they're like the little decoys. Like aren't those the exclusives? <clears throat> the like that muscle thing, aren't yeah, they? It's like their muscle stuff, but they did it for transformers. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah. All these. Love it. I need that Fisto to be on my Strador. <laughs> Look how good that is. That is she right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Coming Chris soon. Ward looks great. Man, all we need is a leech and we're good. That man, Tenno, man, look at it. Look at the oh, I, I love it. Yeah, <clears throat> so good. And the, the, the one that he's got his head on, it, it looks like that's the popping eyes right there. Yep. That's the, yeah, he's got extra hands too. That's nice. No, we need more than Leech. We need Stinkor. And we, there's like the, for the horror. I'm, ready, yeah. I'm down for like if they do 200 of them, Shadow I'm down. Weaver. 
Oh my oh, we god. We need the dude. horn troopers too. Dude, we if need you Shadow Weaver, yeah, dude, definitely. I told you, Rick, man, you might as well sell the Shadow Weaver. It's like a two hundred dollar figure. What? Yeah, it's crazy. Yep. Easily. <laughs> I've been telling you that for like a couple years. I know. It's yeah, like, dude, where's your Shadow Weaver? You're like, oh, uh, I think she's oh yeah, she's right up here. Like I look at her once in a while. Like, I can't. Yeah, dude, she's like two hundred dollars, <laughs> like anytime you put her on eBay. <laughs> I can't get rid of her now because I'm deep. Do you seriously think they'll make a Shadow Weaver for the filmation line? They should. They should, huh? All of them. All of them. Yeah. If we keep buying them. Look how cartoony uh, his face looks, too. I like it. Oh, yeah. I mean, he looks straight up ridiculous. Like, other people that aren't into it are like, dude, why are they going off about this weird bearded guy with the huge hand? He's awesome. Yeah. Catcher looks like she is straight out of the old Thundercat. Not the, the vintage Thunder, like this, whatever, 2011 Maybe. Thundercats. Maybe in the show that they'll say that she came from, from Thundera. They, that's how they try to draw you in. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> catch you. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're, you're dead, Optimus Prime. Yeah, it's the... Exclusive. Seven. $75 for that. Oh, those are pretty cool. The catchy surprise, four to bucks. I guess that's not too bad for if you're into those little muscle things. So just come one per box or yeah. That looks like you got a couple of them in there. Alright. Alright, we already looked at that. And oh, here's just a, a couple of their Five points of articulation uh, <laughs> reaction figures. Ooh, I like the monsters. Yeah, they're cool. <clears throat> I had the Remco versions when I was a kid. The, I, I know it's the one thing that's cool about these. It one, the packaging looks fantastic. The other thing is the they're meant to look like they're from the seventies. So yeah. they're meant to look like they're kind of crappy designed, you know, like not modern technology. Right. Very retro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what, what I, you know, I've tried to like argue with some people before where they're like, they look so stupid looking like you think they make better ones. I'm like, yeah, but they're supposed to look like they came from the seventies. Exactly. Yeah. They didn't have the best molds and you know, all that stuff back then, you know? So they're, they're supposed to look like they're kind of shitty made. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> the card art is great. Yep. Yeah, all of them, yeah. That one will be popular. Oh, yeah. I had him. He was a bathtub toy. I played with all these in the bathtub. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's, something, here's something from Mike. He loves his Funko. I haven't looked at these yet. <laughs> I saw a few pictures. Oh, this is the, the, yeah. Oh my goodness. If you're, I guess the <laughs> E-Man collector and you like DC. Yeah, if you like the 5.5 figures, these are I, up your alley. I, mean, I like Masters and I love DC, but I look at these and I'm like, why? Masters of DC. <laughs> but that Bat Castle thing is pretty cool. Well, I, I like play, I can appreciate the playset, yeah. But <laughs> oh, who do so we got Green Lantern, Batman, Aquaman, Scarecrow, mm -hmm. uh, Wonder Woman, Mister Freeze, King Shark, and I can't tell who the other one is. I can't tell either. Oh, it's a clear Mr. Freeze. Is that something special? I think they got a missed opportunity with that uh, Batman that could have made the dog a Doberman and had him as Ace. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was thinking that. Ah, uh, yeah. You get right. The one for Joker, a giant hyena. Yeah, that would be cool. Or that could be for Harley. <laughs> There's the bat 
thing. Castle Bat Skull. Not yeah, totally, that one. Yeah, I totally oh, see. Oh, well, they went with Hal Jordan. I like John Stewart better, but a uh, good small company coming out with a uh, Zenyatta. I don't play a Zenyatta, so I could care less. I play with Diva some, and I need a Mora. I play with Mora. Mora's my main now, but I've I pre-ordered Diva. <clears throat> But he looks he looks pretty good. I just think he's weak. I beat him up and down uh, on the battlefield all the time. Diva, I love the diva. Uh -oh. She's not replacing uh, Tiny Tina as your favorite video game female. Uh no, I still love Tiny Tina, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she is so awesome. Uh, here's some more. Uh, they're like little Figma stuff from Good Smile. So you got that Batman Ninja movie, Catwoman. That movie is so terrible. I, I never finished it. I never, the animation on looked it. really jerky. <laughs> you said you watched it? No, I was afraid to watch that one. I knew Dude, I wouldn't like it. They have castles that turn into like giant megazords and fight each other and stuff it's it's just not my dc That's yeah i saw lego is going to be making some overwatch sets I don't, I don't i'm not going to buy any of this sets and i would think that probably the sets would if they do like levels like those are going to be expensive and i'm not going down that rabbit hole but if they just really, came out with all, like doing overwatch huh yeah if they just did all the little minifigures i'd buy, I'd buy the mini minifigures i'm mean, at least I'd, I'd buy diva and her mech and then i want a mora those are my two characters that I play. Bastion would be cool. Well, they yeah they 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 did make a little Lego Bastion that you could put together. I think that's one of the first sets. So I have seen that. I have seen that put together. Bastion is kind of like for beginners, I guess. It's pretty simple though. Or how to use, but you if once you start playing against people that have any idea what they're doing, then you'll just get destroyed. Genji will Tracer would be a good one too. I I struggle with her. I'm not that great at her. All right, and Haya Toys. These are the three and three quarter inch uh, little figures. So they did their Aliens and Predators. They're also doing the Injustice game, if that's what it's called, for the DC game. Haya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, actually, I, I would be so mad if they blind bag. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you can see they're sitting in there. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> that's, no, that's something I've always wanted, but... <clears throat> they haven't made well they haven't made one good enough to buy I've, I've watched the aliens over again mm. and I come to the same conclusion that I have years and years and years ago the first two are the only ones that are good yeah <laughs> oh, well, we got through there and I was like man I really enjoyed alien and <laughs> aliens I'm like, I remember part of the Alien 3, and I'm like, oh, man, it's this one. This one's crap. And then I haven't even finished the Resurrection one. There's no more after that, right? It's just those four. Well, I mean, yeah, the Predator crossover. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, I don't, I don't know. Prequels. Yeah. That's whenever they just got, you know, drunk on their money. <laughs> There's the Alien 3, the dog. Every time I watch Alien 3, I get really upset as soon as they, you know, tell you that Newt and uh, what's his face. Oh, yeah, just from the beginning. I Isn't mean, that crushing. Uh, it's like, but it's like, why? It's like, who, like why? Aliens, you know, or Alien 2. It was just like the whole thing was just a waste, a waste of time. Yeah. Then she shaves her head, and they bring in like a dog alien. I mean, it just kind of keeps 
leveling down the entire it's, movie. It's some dude that's uh that's like made of fellas, you know, yeah. like <clears throat> like no women or anything, like oh, sleeps yeah. with her on the first night. <laughs> it's like the villain's like a rapist. I mean, they, it keeps it keeps leveling down the whole wow. the whole movie. Uh, these are Mediacom. Was that yeah. supposed to be Joker without the makeup? Yeah, yeah that's the. Uh, yeah, there you go. Me. Oh, here's your Beast Kingdom. Uh, these are one ninth scale, which is such an odd scale. But there you go. It's the Batman doesn't look. Oh, that face is horrible. Looks more like Andy Garcia than it does Ben Affleck, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Andy Garcia from Ocean's Eleven. That's that's really bad. And the the Wonder Woman is she's like really pale. Oh, the guy with the shotguns, Reaper. Yeah, I use him oh. every once in a while. Whether they did that effect on Superman looks like uh, Cyclops. Yeah. It does. Psychops got some new shades and they got some flair to them. <laughs> the one with the red mask. Look at this derpy looking Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> and how pale she is. That's terrible. Uh, Hiya Toys. Uh, so another one for their Injustice figures. They're three and three quarter inch. They're doing Harley Quinn. <coughs> Here's a little first look at her. God, it's raining again. Uh, NECA, uh, their ultimate emissary figure. Uh, this uh, first little look at him. Why does a predator need to wear camo? Because they have their active camo that makes them invisible. So this doesn't make any sense. Maybe in case it malfunctions, like it always does. Like it always does. <laughs> 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 yeah, but in the like, first five minutes, humans, it's gone. <laughs> like with humans, like you'd wear like camouflage, and then you put the camo on your face and stuff, right? It, that way your whole body's kind of camo. It's not going to work where it's like, oh, I can't see him except for this giant alien looking head like with these big teeth and dreadlocks, you know? <laughs> it's It seems it seems a little a little redundant. Yeah. Uh, Neck is quarter scale. Uh, Shredder, kind of their first little look at him. I need to sell those quarter scale figures. You know what that means? Might be a one twelve scale. That's what I, I'm just gonna go all in for one twelve scales and just be like, I'm done with quarter scale. Yeah, because I mean, it was gonna be hard to put anywhere anyway. So, uh, just a quick couple of pictures. If you're into those gentle giant, those twelve inch, like you wanted the vintage ones, but made them up into twelve inch instead of three and three quarter inch. Here's that Bespin Leia, which. <sighs> Life. Look at that beautiful face. Oh, yeah. Buddy Grip Clexies. They, they, they could have done better than that. Come on. Yeah, it's part of the charm. That they're, they're, they take <laughs> the charm. mold and they just blow it up. Yeah. Uh, even oh, as a even as a kid, like that particular figure, I was never fond of, and I always felt like she had monster truck like monster truck tires at the bottom of her dress. What? I hear that. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Wow. 
with more of those gentle giants. Lando looks happy. I had all those except for that little pig. <laughs> he was Lando's happy because he's trying to, you know, steal Leia. Look at the dead on accuracy of Harrison Ford as Han yeah. Solo. It's pretty good. Gotta love these boys. Gang's all here. <laughs> You will have dinner with me. I remember these Stormtrooper helmets looking so derpy, too. <laughs> uh, but you get the packaging, which, like, you look at, like, oh, Carrie Fisher, nice. Look at this. <laughs> and you're like, oh. <clears throat> Union Creative, uh, here you have a uh, six inch scale. This is from uh, is it Ghouls and Goblins, Ghost and Goblins. I don't know why anyone would want to figure from that video game to be reminded of how hard how it was. Yeah, how difficult it was. And like 30 seconds in, I was running around in my underwear and I'm like, no hope. <laughs> <laughs> Remember they came out came out that night a long time ago. Yeah, there's Rick right there. Yeah, there, there it is. <laughs> Armor's completely blasted off. All right, here are uh, from SH Figure Arts. Uh, you got some... Hey, Reporto. I've seen like 10 minutes of one Harry Potter movie. Really? I could yeah, I've I've saved a few on D V R and I'm just like waiting for if I'm just completely bored and be like, all right, let's let's try these. But I I'll, I only think I have like four or five of them to watch and I have no idea what order they go in. I like everything after or around Order of the Phoenix, but everything before is too a little too kid like for me. It changed uh Direction uh, starting with Prisoner of Azkaban, it got a lot more serious. Yeah, huh. the first two were very kid friendly. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not into Spike Spiegel. He looks kind of cool. Late movies, See you later, Space Cowboy. That's my Godzilla. Yeah, he's throwing up. Blah. He's cool, though. Ready for that uh, new uh, Godzilla movie. True, look good. <clears throat> right, here's the Mezco uh, 112 scale. Or 112 line. For Dakota. He likes cable, but he won't buy it. We'll light up. Cheers. Be cool if I did one that was closer to the game model. I'm sure they'll make one. Uh, also, 112, the Logan, uh, Ronan. <coughs> People that want their action figures in clothes, like cloth. This one ain't too bad, I guess. What's that dull life? He's not too bad because, like, I always think they look squat, and you can do Wolverine squat because he is supposed to be squat. Like that cable, I couldn't. Every time I look at it, I'm like, it's just he's not tall enough. His legs need to be slightly longer. But for Wolverine, it, it's okay. Uh, here is same thing uh, for Marvel. Probably looked at a bunch of these. Yeah, yeah we've looked at these. 
Let's, let's just see if there's anything new that we, catches our eye. I mean, they look like the same pictures from... Yeah, they're like ago. fans' toys. They got that five, you know, year. But that Hello looks that really good. That Lockjaw looks good. That's new, I think. Yeah. Have they done vehicles before? Is this no. no? I'm assuming they're doing like gangbusters based on what we're, I mean, we're seeing vehicles now too and light up characters and I don't know. They have Somebody's to be buying this stuff. Who, we need to know from people in the chat, don't be embarrassed. Who is buying these things? <clears throat> the aftermarket is really good on these as well. They really climb up the I price. I've got a buddy that buys these. I know he's told me he has some. I don't know which ones, but he's told me he's bought some. There, there's a large collector market in Jersey. The around the Jersey area, all these toy shows and yeah, there's a lot of people collecting up there. I think, based on what I've heard. Now the funny thing is, I don't, I don't remember seeing in any of my the subscriptions on YouTube anybody reviewing these on the regular. Do you guys have anybody like that you watch videos of that do Mezco? I don't subscribe to any of them, but there are out there. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't watch any of that stuff anymore. I, just, I just watch Overwatch videos to find it because they keep on adding a new patch like every other day. So I need yeah. to know what's happening. Oh, like whose skills been decreased? Who's been increased? And I watch uh, sports updates. And I got that Batman on pre-order, and they're they're nice. I mean, I've I've only got uh, Star Trek figures and one Batman, and I wouldn't call them action figures because they've got material on them, and I'm just worried about that material wearing out or tearing over time if you move them around too much. I know that I've got one of the uh, Hot Toys Spider Mans. It's from it's from years ago. It's at least four years old, and I've had it in like an extreme I'll, I'll pose. That one, yeah, I do right. too. Yeah, I like him. I think the clothes can hold up. I I don't you know whether you now if you keep it like that for like four or five years and you just want a regular stand up pose, I would imagine that it would take time for the the material to kind of heal back to where it was. But none of them have ripped. And I mean, I've got them in extreme spidey poses. <laughs> God, there's so many of them. They have a lot of licenses, too. Oh, yeah. There's your Ghostbusters. <clears throat> Who are you going to call? That's not my Ghostbusters. Three hundred bucks for the whole set, I think. That that looks good. I think it's just too much cloth because whenever I go back to the Black Series, they have some cloth in some of their stuff, but it's very minor. It's very, you know, and it's the right mix to add with the plastic that I think looks good. Uh, SH Figure Arts, uh, your Obi Wan. I'm not a big fan of that face. There's all their all it. their stuff is anime looking. It it all yeah. comes off. Every single sculpt, unless his, it's a trooper. His eyes. It looks like he's like looking through me. It, it's his eyes are weird looking. Get the pose down. Let's get ready to fight Grievous. Oh yeah. Stop. Yeah, something's wrong with Anakin's eyes, too. I don't like their eyes. There's something weird with them. They mix I can the... say for Anakin. I mean, he's supposed to give you that like, creeper, yellow white Yeah. Stare. <clears throat> Anakin, you know, be, before Anakin, he goes to the like, temple. Like, you just challenged him to, like, a dance-off or something. <laughs> you were the chosen one. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one there. 
Just remember to have the high the, ground. The hot hot lava dance. Yeah. Also, SH Figure Arts, Count Dooku. Black Series. Where is it at? Something's weird with it. Too. Had the Black Series one come with this little speeder there it bike. Is. Look at that. It's a speeder. Do it. Kill him. <laughs> Do it. I should. It's not the chair. I'm like, get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, here's the uh, same Mafex uh, as well. That's a hear, that's a mighty McFarlane Venom right there, in a good way. I hear they've really improved. <clears throat> there were some quality issues with Mafex in the past, but they've really stepped up. You can you could definitely like for Spider Man, this company makes so much sense. Yeah. I mean that looks like McFarlane straight up just right off the page. It's not a bad Eddie Brockhead either. That's not too bad. Have you guys seen the Venom movie? I have not. Uh, yet. No. I oh, was gonna go I'm see afraid. it probably Monday or something. <clears throat> My brothers, they went and saw it the other day. I'm afraid. I, I think that's just more critics being overly picky about everything like they usually are. Yeah. I'll, probably, I'll probably enjoy it at home. Like If I watch it at home, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. You know you want the C-3PO. Mm -hmm. That is... Really yeah, he's weird. That looks like that feet. mask from uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> I think the other ones that really look good are... Boba looks kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, Darth Maul. Invader. And then, I guess, was it Blanca? He's in uh, the new one. And look, they all come with uh, all right, stands. Cameron. Yeah. High end collectible. He needs to have uh, like some type of electrical stuff that fits on because that I remember that's the move that my friend would always do. Like I'd beat up, he he would come out the gate and hit me like with uppercut or something, and then he would just go get in the corner and just yeah. electrocute himself like the entire match until. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, you, you play like a bitch. <laughs> Because <laughs> like oh, yeah, he had already had he'd already had that big hit on me, so I'd have to go in and try to like side kick him or something. But it, he would just sit there and electrocute himself like the whole <laughs> minute. And uh, you know, at that oh, point, man. it was like, look, I have to go in. And then it, uh, after I did that, then he electrocuted me. So and then he would never try to. Eat. I would even just stand right next to him. I'm like, look, man, all you gotta do is like kick me or something. He's nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you fighting him with? Who did you pit? Who did you fight with? Man, I, I, dude, I don't know, man. This is like, what am I like, six or <laughs> seven years old? <laughs> I. That's the only thing I remember about Street Fighter. That's that's probably why I always was like, hey, let's play this fighting game. I'm like, no. I was my, I was my cousin. Really I, into it. Scarred like, for life. Yeah. He had all the Mortal Kombat games, and he he. You can pick whoever you want, and he could be like, and you can pick my character. And he knew all the moves on him because that's all he played was Mortal Kombat. And he'd just do all this ridiculous stuff to you. To where it's like, I don't even want to. I want to play this. You know, this is a stupid game. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I hate fighting games. That's why I never got into them because no one. I I never got a chance to. They either played like bitches or they were just they knew all the the moves. Yeah. I like the and colors Spider. on that. It'd be cool if they did the uh was it Spider Knight? Ooh. I saw this movie. I still uh, haven't seen it yet. I need to... 
it's uh, it's about what I thought of the first one. I was like, oh, it's it's all right, you know. But like, it's not. Oh my god, this is crazy good. It was, yeah. but it wasn't like, oh, it's this fun. is a bad movie. It was just, yeah, I, I thought fun. it did its job. Uh, yeah, my brother, especially it's after it, Infinity you know. War, something fun. And... Yeah, I mean, it's no DC movie, so I mean, it's not anything. <laughs> Thank God, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I cannot wait for Aquaman. Me neither. I gotta admit, that one looks good. Yeah, it's gonna win all the Oscars. I could have just peed on it. Yeah. <laughs> I love the preview where she the, she jumps out of the plane and like, he just he just looks at redheads, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it seems like it's got the right amount of comedy in there. Well, I, I like how it doesn't take itself too seriously, but at the same it time, should, it's not overdone. I think it's going to be dark. I mean, James yeah. Wan does he does some of the best horror movies, so I think the stuff that lurks under the deep aspect yeah. of the movie, I think it's going to be nice and dark when it needs to be. Yeah, exactly. I hope so. I, I love Black Manta, too. I was just going to say too. that. Me, too, yeah. I was just going to say that, yeah. That's a, I'm looking more forward to that than I am Aquaman, honestly. I can't wait to see him. I want, actually, I want Black Man of the Kick Ass. It actually makes me want to get the action figure. Yeah, the the essential. No, the DC, uh, the Mattel oh, one. Looked at these. Oh, the Mattel one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, wow. Yeah. It actually looks pretty good. That's a good trailer if it makes you want the the Mattel yeah. figure. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought, huh? Jeez. Yeah. Uh, here's the machinations. Uh, Goku's. What's a, who's oh, who's we the, love Goku? What? What is that? It's Casper Goku. Goku. Oh, it's a ghost. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah it's Casper Goku. <clears throat> I'm like, sperm Goku? It's weird. Sperm Goku. Goku. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that? It's a giant sperm. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> uh, that makes me They're nervous. all Gokus. Female Goku, yeah. <laughs> Cody's... Josh, I don't know if you know how much you piss every single member of the Dragon Ball Z community off. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> just, there's a Dragon Ball Z community. <laughs> I don't just call yourself the Goku community. The Gokus. The Goku crew. They're all Gokus. <laughs> Goku I do like that one. Uh, the... Bigger face, blue haired Goku, or smaller yeah. face, blue haired Goku? Uh, the one on the right. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you if we've looked at these figures a hundred times before. <laughs> <laughs> I they always, just they always look the same. Oh, other than them changing the color of their outfits and their hair, they all look the same to me. It's over 9,000. <laughs> Some Cayman Rider up in here, too, huh? It's got his Doctor Doom outfit on, too. I'm having to keep an, an eye out the number at the bottom. Otherwise, we'll just keep on wrapping around because I'll never know what, <laughs> what we started on. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. Uh, here's the uh, Deathstroke. Uh, real quick, the uh, Revoltech. Too shiny for me. Yeah. It's got that neck hunch going on. That crotch first stand or whatever. He's got a big crotch. Yeah. <clears throat> Very aggressive. Yep. That looks good, though. Yep. Yeah, it looks nice. See what that flight stand can do for you? Uh huh. And like 100 points of articulation. <laughs> yeah, just the flight. Uh, all I need is a stand. It's not like you're asking for a whole lot. 
That looks really good for it not to be a statue. That yeah. It's really good. All those weapons. Holy smokes. I mean, Slade looks like he could easily fit in with the Metal Gear Solid universe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> especially <laughs> totally. especially for uh, the um, <coughs> Play Arts Curry. Here's he, a might, great, he might even be Snake. Great Twins. Yeah. This is 112 scale, so six inches. Need some more Terminators in your life. Come with me if you want to live. I should just put a big button with them that says reboot. Oh, it was it us that was talking about was like oh the new uh, like Terminator? They were like, yeah. Now we're gonna tell uh, the female story or something like that with the Terminator. I'm like. Haven't they all pretty much been female stories? I mean, like, the main <laughs> character is Sarah Connor. Yeah, mostly, yeah I mean, it's like Sarah Connor, yeah. Sarah Connor. I thought that was weird, but... Uh, she Storm was a stri- uh, strong female role. Yeah. Look, this is uh, when Dakota's, like, uh, big thighs that are bigger than her waist. Thunder uh, thighs. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's what take me out to dinner, Chandler. Her, her waist will snap before <laughs> she even tries to kick you. <laughs> I like I like this one a whole lot. <laughs> it's my dream girl. Yeah. <laughs> I saw something on a TV show or movie the other day, and this is so they like this dude looks at this girl and says, "To wash your tuna taco." <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to think. Oh of my god! I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> uh, in twenty eighteen, that's so bold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember where where I heard it. Hmm. It must have been uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia or something like that. It had to be one of those shows. Uh, but here's uh, Storm Collectibles again. Uh, Street Fighter, now Mortal Kombat. So it looks like Baraka and Goro. Sub-Zero without the cool looking Ninja's mask yeah. stuff. And we they've already we've already seen these other characters. I think I had, I knew like two or three moves on that Cyrax guy. That was that was about it. And I think we've seen most of them. I like the way he looks. He's purple. Yeah, we've seen those before. All right, coming to a close. Play Art Sky. Run through these real quick. What is this? Final Fantasy? It looks like yeah, Final Cloud Fantasy and stuff. Ben Rear. Have we seen these before? I don't know, Dalton. I'm not sure. I don't remember them. Looks good, though. This one looks different. Well, they said 0% chance of rain after 6 p.m. It is pouring again. Womp (laughs) womp. It's raining here, too. It's supposed to be snowing here tomorrow. Jeez. Oh, aren't you lucky? Yeah. Oh my god. That's why I'm making chili. <clears throat> I'm still driving around with the AC on. Full blast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
uh, Kingdom Hearts stuff. Uh, I, don't, I guess that's what that is too. Hmm. All right. Oh, and here's one six scale stuff. So here we go. Right. Final stretch. Uh, this better. is the Sentinel, or made by Sentinel. Uh, it's your Iron Spider. Hmm. Uh, maybe the <coughs> Sentinel stuff is pretty expensive too, if I remember correctly. Sentinel, oh yeah. See, this is kind of what I thought the legs would look like on the one from Infinity War. Yeah, I wish they did that. The Marvel Legends uh, Iron Spotter, he didn't come with any legs, right? Nope. God, Afraid man. Afraid not. They should at least like throw that in with a, a pack in with something. Totally you know? agree. With totally totally agree. Uh, Another build a it, figure. It should have been in the 10 year thing with all these deluxe pieces and light up features. That should have been in yeah. the 10 year yep. thing. Like have him, make... Tony Stark, and Evan Law. Yep. It yep. makes complete sense to do that. And Doctor Strange. Here's your one six scale sideshow collectibles. Woohoo. Yeah, I mean it's it's not hot toys, so hey. <laughs> I mean they're hot toys prices, but they're not hot toys. I can tell a difference in just the way the hands look. Really? Look! Look! That doesn't look as good as the hands you would see on oh, one of those yeah. figures. Like that looks like it's like a too cheaper shiny. plastic. It looks soft. Yeah. Rick, you know what I'm talking about because you own hundreds of these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean you can always. I can always tell the difference. I know which is which, but I don't know. I still think I still think Sideshow can put out some good products. I just don't buy that many anymore. I buy a few here and there. Pick and choose. I have that Mythos Boba Fett on pre-order. I like all this extra stuff. And I have the original premium format, Leia. I still am holding on to it. Help me, Obi Wan. <clears throat> all right, uh, three zero. Uh, you like some Game of Thrones? Or uh, you like some Captain Phasma? There you go. <laughs> Not bad. You know, looks like her. One of the Christie, her name. All right, Letterman. Yeah, we're probably going to wrap up here in uh, about three minutes. Five minutes. He doesn't get to her accessories. There's a sword and some hands. Uh, the Infinity War Bucky Hot Toys. I think these are all Hot Toys here. Out. You just see the difference. My Black Widow is finally on the way. <laughs> I think it's like fourth one or fifth. I feel like I have at least four or five Black Widows at this point. Why? Do you ever think about selling any of the ones? Like, you're I, like, you know what? Yeah. I, you, you the, Iron Man, Joe Army. the Iron Man 2 one I'm ready to get rid of. Because it doesn't look that great. And it's from such a long time ago. I mean, that's from like 10 years ago. But the others, I, I want to keep them. Because they're specific to the movie. Where is his? There's yeah, his wall accessories and stuff. I still like the Winter Soldier one better, but I'm, I don't know. Yep. Yeah, if not that one, then Civil War. Yeah, Civil War yeah. one's nice too. Yeah. They're both really nice. I like that mask from the um, Winter Soldier one though. That's why I like that one so much. Mm -hmm. 
some of these things we haven't seen. So, um, we've seen the John Wick. I need to sit down and watch those movies. I gotta watch the second one. I've yet to watch it. Uh, I watched that uh, Battle good. Angel Alita. Yeah, yeah, I'll check that out. I still need to sit down and watch uh, weird Ready science fiction one. movies like that. They in- intrigue me. So yeah. That looks good. The Airborne Trooper. Yeah. Cool. Take that. I need to get my pre order in for my Darth Maul uh, next week. Yeah. I'm not going to Lux either, man. I think it's going to be. Yeah. I'm not doing the speeder either. Look at that face. But I'm glad they're doing those two heads. I like it when they give you the two heads because you can change it up when you want. Like sometimes I'll change my stuff up. Go hood too? Yeah. I think I can't remember if I went deluxe on Vader and uh, Boba Fett or not. Good, good. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the theater I have on pre order too. What is that coming out? I pushed mine back. <laughs> I just pushed it back like this week. I pushed it mine back, my uh, second payment back to November. I, so I, I start paying on the Vader <clears throat> this month. <clears throat> and I have two months left of my Boba Fett. So there's four four payments total for each. That Thor looks awesome. Yeah, I saw it. He's. Yeah, I think he's. I got to notice that he's shipping sooner than expected. The Thor. And here's your Luke Skywalker from crate from the Last Jedi. Which. <sighs> there. I need. I haven't pre-ordered this one, and I I wasn't completely. I didn't feel like the head was perfect. Not as perfect as some of the others, but... He doesn't have any gray in his hair. It's all brown. Yeah, he's not old enough, man. This is the, <laughs> what, the hologram, or, you know, like the force. Yeah. 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 Projection. The BS yeah. one. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> And let's see what he comes with. Oh, the little dice. Uh, a couple different hands. Oh, that, the stand and, and the light. <coughs> all, all that stuff makes sense. Mm-hmm. And lastly. Yeah. Now, this one I pre-ordered immediately. Yeah. This, you know what? This, <laughs> this one looks better than that Jumbo General Giant. Uh, one that we just, <laughs> just a at. little bit, yeah, just a little bit, yeah. a little bit I better. Can, yeah, I can see the subtle differences. Yeah, she doesn't have monster tires on the bottom. Of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, got the design, they got the designs right. <clears throat> there they are. There they are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was awesome. like, cool, she likes monster trucks and she's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that one is at least, yeah. Oh nice, nice little uh background here. Oh and then look, oh. there's more details to the well, Yeah. The dress she, looks, nice. she looks good. That looks good. That's a really nice face sculpt actually. I think yeah. That. All right, so a longer show than normal. Uh, no galactic gumbo, obviously, uh, but wanted to make sure that we got everything in that Mike may have missed, and uh, also cover New York Comic Con as well. So uh, again, if you missed episode 
221 or Galactic Gumbo uh, that they had a couple weeks ago. Those are on just another GI uh, Joe Show's YouTube channel. The links are in the description as well, so you'll be able to find those. Uh, let's go ahead and sign out. Dalton, where can people find you, man? I'm Dalton. You can find me everywhere at Daltonian STFs. Sport? I'm Sportimus. You can find me here on YouTube and on Twitter as Sportimus Prime. All right. And Rick. You can find and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram as Shattered Glass Jazz. All right. And find me, G1Xtron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1Xtron. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Peace.